Hey guys, what's up? Welcome. Yay, my mic's not muted. <laughs> like, always gonna double check it now since God, I feel like I've done that like, I don't even know how many times in these stupid streams, dude. Oh man, but welcome. Hope you guys are excited for the stream. I am excited but nervous. Uh, I forgot to, I forgot to make a new edit too. I just like remember that like five minutes ago. I was like, no, I forgot to make a new edit for the stream. Oh, I'll have to get something else next time. Why are y'all talking about Mitch Oween? <laughs> what is that? Why are you guys ruining Halloween for me? It's like my favorite holiday. Why do you have to do this to me? Mitch Oween, Jesus Christ. But uh, thanks guys for stopping by. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I'm excited about uh, what's gonna happen today. But a little nervous, <laughs> a little nervous to see who goes. Since last time we, uh, you know, last time we lost the hat gay who was like, my best boy but you know it's fine it's fine whatever i don't even care it's it's whatever i just cried myself to sleep and no big deal other than that it's fine uh welcome welcome guys here we coming in chat welcome brie marie jeff <laughs> that's an l <laughs> oh man what a username but uh let's see oh yeah i want to give a couple of shout outs and stuff on the uh, subreddit before we get started and then we can get on with it let me go ahead and get that stuff up Okay, so this one was by uh, Lemon Brownie. They did like a really big fly <laughs> art dump. They're so cute together. Also, I did karaoke last night, so if my voice sounds kind of messed up. That's why I like, totally lost my voice last night. Mm, I feel kind of still like I sound like a smoker or something. Ah, oh, they're so cute though. Oh, look at them. <laughs> With the butter on their heads. But I especially love the first one too. It was like... <laughs> Just crying. Casually crying. It's no big deal. It's no big deal. But that one's by uh, Lemon Brownie. And then this other one I wanted to show is by Anime Myth 99 <laughs> I just love seeing uh, Kizaragi and then uh, <laughs> a little art together. He's so small, too. I just love how small they drew, drew him. <laughs> then, of course, Kenjo. Fine, I suppose. Theoretically speaking, you are my little pog champ. I wonder if Kenjo thinks, um, would he think that being cringe is breaking the law because i think i think you just broke the law <laughs> by saying pog champ oh man okay well i can go and get uh, i can go ahead and get this uh started but yeah we're gonna do chapter two today and i think um we're probably gonna get through like the trial for chapter two and stuff too i feel like i've kind of heard mixed things on like how long exactly this game is so you guys can kind of like let me know but I thought I saw some people saying there was like four chapters and some people saying there's like three chapters. I'm kind of confused to be honest. But we're we're on we're gonna be finishing chapter two. Um, let's go ahead and kind of get some of this set up. Okay, so I go ahead and load the game. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of scared for Missy. I don't know. I th it was like, <laughs> I know it's kind of weird because whenever I'm scared a character dies, I kind of put them in the thumbnail because I'm like, on one hand, I'm like, you know, just a little, a little worried for them, and I'm like, I want to put them in the thumbnail before, <laughs> before they die. But at the same time, I'm like, does that curse them? Since I do feel like a lot of characters I put in the thumbnail do kind of, do unfortunately pass on. <laughs> I was like, am I, am I the problem? Again, I must I must ask myself. Oh, okay, gosh, got so many donations. Thank you, Epta. Holy shit, Brownie, you're on TV. As they should be. Their art's so good. Their art's so cute, man. Oh, thank you, Cherry Bun, for becoming a sponsor, too. And thank you, Kage Kage. I'm sure you sounded awesome at karaoke. <laughs> El Amigo, good luck on the second trial. I hope you're doing good again. Thanks. I <laughs> Me and my friend, we sing, like, uh, Lincoln Park. We sang Faint, and we did, like, the full screamo for, like, the bridge. I think that was what mostly killed my throat, but we were singing a bunch of, like, emo, old-school emo songs. Oh, it's so fun, but yeah. I don't know how to properly do screamo, so I think it kind of <laughs> screwed up my voice a little bit. Hey, Weeby, I'm finally back to watch this live, though sadly I'm a bit sick. So I can't wait to watch more of this. Oh, thank you so much, Mega Panda. Hope you feel better soon. God, I think sick's the worst. It really is, man. I uh, kind of was getting over a cold like last week, so uh, I feel you on that. Just like when the weather changes, it's kind of like that. Thank you, Dylan. Hi, Weeby. I'm con crunching for Anime Week in Atlanta while watching the stream today. Excited to see what happens. Oh, thank you so much. Hope you have fun at Anime Week in Atlanta, too. That sounds like a good time. And thank you, Cherry Bun. Finally made the lap stream. Happy I'm here. Yeah, I'm happy you're here too. Hopefully it won't be, uh, hopefully it won't be too, uh, too traumatizing. <laughs> too traumatizing. Oh man, people saying, uh, is there any way to 
Is there any way to do? I don't know if there is any way to do screamo without it hurting your voice. I assume there is, you know, because like some artists do it all the time, or you know they have to do tours where they do it all the time. So I'm like, I think there is a way to do it. But me, I'm just like, Bleh. <laughs> like just scratching, scratching the fucking bottom barrel of my throat. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and do this. Oh wait, let me. I think the audio might be a little too loud. Um, I think that's better. You guys can let me know. Oh, thank you, McWarrior. This is my first time at a stream. Love your content. Hope you love the trial. Thank you. I'm excited to check it out, but also, also nervous. Also, also nervous. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. There are safe ways to do screamo. That's what I thought. I just don't know. Don't know what that is. In the dining hall, we saw Forte sitting in his lonesome evening, folks. Forte's voice was a low mumble, his posture stone. He sat with his hands clasped on the table, resting just before the dining hall centerpiece. Pandora, ah, oh, ah, oh, man, sad. Pandora's basket of page pastries, ah. Oh. Poor Pandora, man. God, they're dying so quickly too, the pastries haven't even gone bad yet. Missy's idea to get a snack was quickly dashed when we were met with the memento of Pandora. My stomach was twisted. Are you all right, Forte? The answer was plainly painted on his face. No one was of sound mind after what we just witnessed. Even though he didn't answer outright, the question alone gave him a bit of comfort. Indeed, it will be a while before it yet for me to come to terms proper, but... <laughs> I'm just about to butcher this. Thor's on how separate shoot. That is so true, bestie. Always rise after fall. She is so smart, dude. Always rise. Pain exists so we can grow and learn from it. What do we do with the feeling of misfortune? It's what will motivate us to move forward. We will learn from the tragedy and move forward. It is really all we can do. Ah, uh, I must imagine the art was deserted. Uh, regardless, his generous generous fixings being driven into the companionless, companionless, companionless corner like that would make anyone miserable. And being here now with my friends Missy and Ashley, as well as the others, should teach us that we have friends all around us who would feel anguish without one another. Ah, uh, man, I still, I'm still so sad for, I'm still so sad for Art dying. I know he killed her, but I'm like, guys, he didn't mean, he didn't mean it, okay? Thank you, Cherry Bun. I think I won't need too much therapy. I just keep sleeping in, and I'm especially tired from translating my Battle of Tokyo books. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, cool. I don't know if I've heard too much about that, but uh, sounds cool. Keep on working on your project. And uh, hopefully, yeah, hopefully you won't need too much therapy. God, I know, I know I do. <laughs> but thanks for the dono. Appreciate it. Alas, it's hard to think clearly when your mind has been clouded by despair. I feel terrible for Art, his whirling, desolate emotions pushed too far. I wish to make it known that I care for you all deeply. Forte's melancholic voice stung my heart. He seems like a sweetheart. Missy and Ashley, I was like, should I even say that, dude? I've <laughs> cursed Art so bad. When, when last time I was like, he's too innocent for this killing game. He just, he does not... <laughs> He can't handle it. We need to protect him. And he was like literally the one who did it. <clears throat> Missy and Ashley themselves had a wistful look in their eyes as they nodded in assent. We hardly knew each other, but I could feel the bond of our adversity bringing us closer together. Our camarader camaraderie knit together by taut strings of fear. If I may, as precaution, I suggest one no one travel alone. It's too dangerous to be without a witness in the event something were to happen. S okay, Missy, she's smart, man. It's not a thought I wish to entertain, but such steps may be necessary if we're going to be at the forefront of the killing game's unpredictability. I agree. And not only that, Cyrus's intense behavior could pose a potential problem. Oh yeah, we learned that Cyrus was a, a sussy baka last stream too. Huh? What happened? What happened with Cyrus? Well, after the trial, you recall what Zero said, correct? It, yeah. Cyrus, Cyrus, Cyrus is someone to be wary of. I mean, I don't really personally trust Zero since he is homophobic, personally. But, you know, okay, this fucking, this fucking cover talent, too. That was, I didn't think it was a really weird talent, but I wasn't going to say anything. Ultimate Charisma is a ter terrible cover talent. After you collapsed, you started acting really fucking weird. 
Uh oh. Oh no, he's starting on some creepy ass sprites. Um. It seems I've garnered some distrust among you all. No thanks to that lousy homophobic zero. <laughs> oh no, he's doing he's doing an evil sprite! Cyrus, what is Zero talking about? I'm also homophobic. No, not Cyrus! There's no use hiding it. Oh. I think a reintroduction's only appropriate. What the fuck? Are you gonna be like the ultimate murderer or some shit? Cyrus Surik. Oh, ultimate you're like the traitor? Ultimate confidential informant for the preservation project. I, you, you were the preservation project? Of course. Oh, but did we did we did we establish that the preservation project was behind this or that it got like hijacked? I guess he's kind of confirming it here, but I'm still kind of like slightly doubting it. Let me um let me read these uh, don't notes to you. Thank you, Epto. Why are you guys st saying art is dead? He ain't. Oh my God, that's so true, Bestie. He's in Paris, Texas with Pandora. Yeah, he's having some uh, what is it like Tex-Mex right now? <laughs> I'm so happy for him. Thank you, Autorampa. Cyrus, more like Cy sus. True, very very true. He is pretty sus. He is pretty sus. So what's with that facade? You're in this game too, after all. Did you think you could keep up the niceties all the way through? <laughs> That's for me to know. <laughs> Fucking evil ass. And all you need to know is this. You were all doomed from the moment you set foot here. Okay, he does seem pretty evil. I was like trying to figure out how he like, you know, might might be not evil. But he, he, do, be, he do be seeming pretty sus. I know for a fact. Nothing you do will save you from this game. Ah, well, hmm. I guess he could have just been in another killing game, but then why are you all smiling evilly and shit, bro? I guess we'll see. Either the project was a cover for the killing game, or Zero hijacked it since we know he did something with Eve. Yeah, Eve seems like, uh, like she's on our side, too, so I feel like... I don't know, just like thinking, I kind of feel like the preservation project isn't evil and Eve's connected to that and then Zero just like hijacked it, you know what I mean? That's kind of, that's kind of what I'm thinking so far. Thank you, I'm a human, maybe. Oh no guys, a bot in chat, mods, get him. No, I'm just kidding. Slay bestie, but not really, just, just metaphorically. They don't, they don't know what the word metaphorically means. I hate to be the one to break it to you, but they do not know what that means. So they're gonna, they're gonna take that seriously, especially, especially Sai Sus. And then he crept out of the courtroom, leaving us all confused, to, to say the least. After that, Missy and I rushed to your room so we could get, Get your rest. Get you to rest. Say in canon have been unresponsive all evening. I don't know how Lyle is faring, but he is likely in a similar despondent shape. His boyfriend just died after all. I mean, went to Paris. They've retired to the rooms, as far as I know. However, if anyone would like to explore, find a partner to keep yourself safe. I cannot guarantee everyone's safety, nor can I force everyone to follow my lead. But I hope you know I wish for everyone's safety. Missy really is such a girl boss queen. I love her. Missy was strained. She wished to protect everyone, but it was difficult since none of us knew what could happen next. I hope they actually- I like- I don't know. It's like, I'm saying I hope they actually follow her advice, but I know they're not because somebody's gonna die anyways. But I was like, it's smart to like stay in groups of like two. That way it's like, okay, if Ashley and like, um, you know, Missy are together and one of them dies, like, you know who did it. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, there's some more donos. Let me read these really quickly. You guys are so generous today. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Bless Fane. Green hair, creepy sprite, hidden talent. <laughs> what a coincidence. That's kind of why I'm like, I don't know. I keep wanting to think that maybe he is like uh, from a previous preservation project game. I feel like it was intentional to assign him to look kind of like Rontaro. I feel that way, so that's kind of why I'm leaning more towards that idea. Thank you, Honey Panda, for coming a part of the Kinjo Cold. And thank you, big chunk of transcolored Bridget. Oh, I see the new profile picture today. By Kuji Kawaii. Let's go, Weeby. Yeah, thank you. Remember, GL. <laughs> Good luck and also girl love. As we were returning to the foyer from the courtroom, I noticed that there was a button for the third floor lit in the elevator. Third floor. I saw that too. Missy, do you want to go investigate the third floor? It's late, but I did want to make a brief round to see what's in store for us. I'll come with you. Echo, do you want to go back to your room for some proper rest? I imagine you've been quite fatigued lately. Um, my stomach was in a knot. I didn't want Ashley to leave. No, it's fine. I'll, I'll come with you. I feel kind of restless anyways. Walking around could help. Okay, but don't push yourself, all right? I nodded slowly. 
If folks are going to explore, would you mind seeing me off to my living quarters? Missy and Ashley obliged, and we all left the dining hall together. I feel like another way you could avoid getting killed in Danganronpa is just not ever going to the new floor. Because they always kill on the new floor. <laughs> I know they haven't played this game, but <laughs> I'm just saying as a Danganronpa player, I'd be like, Nah, I'm good. I'm going to stay on the first two floors. Oh, and thank you, Omega Panda, for uh, the gifted membership. Appreciate ya. Entering the elevator again, we traveled to the third floor that was recently opened up. After a low rumbling, the elevator stopped, revealing the new area. A digital kiosk was just outside the elevator, displaying a map of the grounds as we approached. The third floor landing hall le led towards a single main hall that split into four rooms, two on each side. Four new active amenities are available to us. Okay, art gallery, garage, casino. <laughs> well, I guess this is like a mansion. I was like, what are, what are a bunch of teenagers doing in a casino? Smokehouse lounge. Oh my god, we get... <laughs> We can get some barbecue and Pandora's not even here to, to taste the southern Paris, Texas barbecue. This is so sad. On the left, there is a smoke lounge. Oh, actually, it probably is just like a smoking section connected to a casino. And on the right is the art gallery connected to garage. But of course, they're closed to us from 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. However, Missy's voice trailed off. Oh, it's so pretty in here, too. Look at that art up there. Fancy. I followed her gaze to the smaller hallways that surrounded the perimeter of the main activity rooms. Familiar doors dotted the hallway. An unknown school emblem decorated the door, but Missy's eyes were transfixed on one. That's... Oh, it's gonna be the same logo from the... from the... Mastermind guy. And Ashley herself was looking at another door that bore a similar emblem on it that I had seen... Oh, never mind! From other schools! Huh? Okay. Oh, there was another full set of personal rooms on the third floor. Jesus. So, huh. I guess it might have been like another killing game was held up here. <clears throat> Zero is just too lazy. He was just too lazy to take down the emblems. You know what I mean? But yeah, it does mean I was thinking I was like the race car driver guy probably was in like another one of these since he was also an ultimate student. I mean, maybe Cyrus was in the game with them, maybe? Missy and Ashley looked at each other with astonishment. They swiftly ran to their respective rooms before they could do anything. Oh, <laughs> you fucking creepy asshole, dude! <laughs> I see you've met the rest of your classmates. His flat, disembodied voice sent a chill up my spine. The two of them swung around to see Cyrus in a dark corner of the hallway. Cyrus continued, disregarding Missy and Ashley's grim faces. Oh my god, the fucking- it was kind of close to the Kamida sprite. It's too late. Silva and Darling, <laughs> they're out of the picture. Killed them myself and cut away with the trial, baby. Ashley and Missy reacted to their respective names. I remember Ashley telling me about Silva. So the other unknown was person was in relation to Missy. The atmosphere was suddenly heavy with paralyzing glares. Sent every witch- Why are you being- Why are you being such an evil little bitch? Why, why do you why do you know this? What exactly do you plan to do with these threats? Huh. He shrugged indifferently, unconcerned with answering the questions tossed his way. Cyrus, just who are you? I'm the preservation project's informant. I was chosen to handpick the class that appears for this game. His leering eyes pierced the very air between us. <laughs> Just imagine Zero being like, you did a shit job picking out people, Cyrus. Did you see how shit they were doing in the trial last episode? Pedeco Pine, they're <laughs> different. I was immobilized at the sudden mention of my name. I didn't even know if I was breathing. The three stood at a stalemate, a palpable dread radiating from their deadlocked eyes. Please stop your facade. I know this isn't you. This isn't you, Cyrus. If sorry, you all you all heard zero on the trial. The Cyrus you knew before who wasn't the real me. I should have known never to trust a character that did that face. Oh my god, I can see I can see the lip bite in chat. I'm dead. <laughs> he blew my cover, so I'm here in the full form. <laughs> Fucking Cyrus, dude. Cyrus left his let his threat linger at the a string mitt potential for disaster amassed a lead a lead weight at the bottom of my stomach. Missy and Ashley close in on either side of me, bracing themselves against his possible machinations. Uh <coughs> <Get> evil. 
He's going to eat a little spork before he walks away. <laughs> but, he, but he just sulked away. Cyrus's husky low laugh melting it. <laughs> My god, literally life laughing evilly into the, into the corridor. <laughs> Dumb bitches. I was dizzy with fear, but Missy's firm voice kept me grounded. Hurry, let's return to the living quarters. She grabbed my hand, leading me through the dark towards the elevator that was some ways behind us. We hustled into the elevator and rode back to the main foyer. Man, I don't really... It's like, is this just really truly him? I'm trying to think of, like, what benefit he could gain from acting evil all of a sudden, you know what I mean? And it just kind of is like, oh, finally I get to be fucking... I get to be evil, yes! Back in the foyer, I, I don't know, it kind of does make me think he's going to be the victim of this chapter, too. He's just going around being too cryptic and shit, you know what I mean? Being like, hey, none of y'all are going to survive. <laughs> I'm evil. Somebody kill me. It's kind of it's kind of what he's putting out there into the universe, I feel like. Back in the foyer, a soft light from the chandelier glittered, delicately lighting the main hall. There, we cross paths. Oh, hey, Cannon! With Cannon, who was isolated in the foyer once again. Cannon? Ashley's voice was a whisper that didn't seem to reach Cannon's ears. Hadn't seen her in a while. We slowly approached her and saw her cold expression, but her face gave off a different demeanor somehow. Rather than the icy gaze, we were met with a stony, soulless stare. Cannon, are you all right? I saw her come to her eyes softening as she turned towards us. Okay. Uh-huh. She murmured in a quiet, aff in a quiet affirmation. Her cold exterior melted into a brief moment of vulnerability. Then my curiosity got the better of me, and I capitalized on the brevity of silence. Cannon, I have to know, why did you run away when I collapsed? <laughs> I'm still holding a grudge because of that, Cannon. Oh my god. Thank you, Epta. Sorry, Lady Cyrus is gay. Oh yeah, I think I remember seeing that on like the uh, on their like bio sheets that somebody posted on the Reddit. Thank you for the dono. Appreciate it. <laughs> I love how Echo's still holding. <laughs> They're still holding a grudge because of that. I don't know. It was just funny, okay? Don't blame me. It's only natural to feel fear when you see someone get hurt. That's why I ditched your ass. Huh? I was frightened. Okay, she's opening up a little bit. It's odd. I wanted to leave this mansion as soon as I woke up, but something stopped me. She gripped the instant camera she had hung on a short wrist strap. When I woke up in my personal room with only this camera in my possession... I couldn't help but feel unnerved. I, so I stood in the foyer wanting to leave, but felt unable to do due to a mysterious bad feeling. And as it turns out, that feeling was right. Yeah, there was, um, let's see. Oh, thank you. Big chunk of transcolored Bridget. I was originally planning to change my PP and name to match the new ship in Corpse Factory. But Corpse Factory got like no fan art. So I'm sticking with Queen Bridget for now. Yeah, I don't know if it has uh, too much, uh, fan art uh for it uh just because yeah it's a pretty it's, it's well it's a really new game and also it's not um whatchamacallit uh super popular yet but i'm hoping that it gets more popular it's really surprisingly good and yeah i think they meant a uh, profile picture <laughs> like pfp after after i saw you scream collapse my suspicions were confirmed but i didn't know what to do i waited for someone anyone to come see you so they could handle it forte you know what happens from there. Uh, I left someone else to help you because I didn't want to deal with that event. I mean, I mean it makes sense. Oh, thank you. Read the Cookie Monster. Sorry, turns out Cyrus is in... Oh, my God. <laughs> He's in love with himself. It's like, hey, guys, want to be my new boyfriend? It's just like a... <laughs> it's like a mirror with a picture of him, like, taped onto it. Oh, man. Although her face was less intelligible than before, her voice was shaking. She was just as scared, if not more, than I was. She desperately wanted to protect herself from being the one who would point out the culprit as long as possible, knowing she couldn't delay the inevitable revelation. Cannon sighed heavily. Excuse me. Cannon briskly walked towards the living quarters. Missy and Ashley gave Cannon a soft goodnight, each as she retired for the night. With nothing left to do in the dark of the night, we followed suit to our individual rooms. It's good to kind of see her softening up a little bit, you know what I mean? Ashley stopped me for a moment in the living quarters hall. Echo, let's take care of each other. Yeah, I I am no longer dumping you. I revoke my dumping of you. Of course. That doesn't need any saying. I Ashley mumbled something but cut herself off. Instead, she gave me a hug. 
I close my eyes and allow myself to be swathed in the comfort of her embrace. Good night, Echo. Good night, Ash. Aw. Ashley's sweet, too. I want to stop myself from being sus of her, but it's it's too hard. Entering my personal room, I felt a, more, a little more alienated. This personal room, the comfort and luxury must have been fabricated, creating a false sense of comfort. And behind that sense of comfort, a facade of terror and malice was hiding. A killing game with no remorse for the participants. A homophobic killing game. I shook the nerves out and collapsed on the bed. I want to go to bed for a long, long, long time. Exhaustion overcame me. Another day would come to pass. It's like some of me still feels like Ashley's dropping death flags, but I thought for sure she was going to die last chapter and she didn't. I still kind of feel like it's more likely to be Cyrus, just because, yeah, he's going around being like, <laughs> fuck you guys, I'm evil. <laughs> it's like, okay, sure, buddy, sure. Every fire is a lesson learned. Okay, Wh who who has to do with fire? <laughs> like, any any hints as to who that could be? Oh, thank you. Oh, Jahe, thanks for becoming a member again. Appreciate you. Knock, knock. I opened my eyes at the sound of knocking. Um, pardon me, but good morning. Oh. It's Missy Vesper, outside for Echo. Uh, look at the time, 7.29. Uh, good morning, Missy. Uh, I'll be right out. Take your time. I stopped the alarm before it rang and made myself presentable. Yay, Missy. I stepped out of my personal room to greet Missy. I noticed she was clutching a small item folded in cloth. I feel like I've said this about like five other characters, but I could see Missy dying this chapter too. I guess I said that at the beginning is the beginning of the stream too. Just because I feel like she is a really good person to like keep us all together, you know what I mean? I don't know, I could kinda see her killing Cyrus, maybe. Before I could ask about it, she started she stared, started through the walls, and I followed alongside her. What's going on? I'm gathering students for a personal announcement. I will elaborate when we arrive in the foyer. She raised a small item, indicating it was going to be the subject of her meeting. You're the last student I approached. Those who won't be present did not answer when I knocked. However, when I approached Say, she replied through the door that she wasn't going to move at all. Okay, she just may be too scared. Wants to, like, hide, hide in her room or something. She said that if she was going to die, it would happen regardless of what she did. Oh, what? It was a shockingly fantastical thing to say. But I wasn't going to force her out. Ugh, oh, that girl. Say, where's me? She seems kind of unstable, honest. I, I kind of get ideas of her being unstable. She gives me killer vibes, like hard, hardcore. I was so convinced she did it last chapter, even though there wasn't really a whole lot of like evidence for that to be to be so. Um, I, I don't think I told anybody to slay yet. I don't think so. Thank you, Regret. Konnichiwa. Welcome. Thanks for stopping by the stream. Appreciate you. I don't, I don't wish this to be too demanding in any case. She may be offended or take it the wrong way, but... Missy sighed. She seemed upset that she couldn't do anything to help Say. I'm sure Say appreciates the sentiment. We just do what we can, right? Um... I apologize, you're absolutely correct. Missy's expression eased as we finally arrived in the main foyer. Do 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 <laughs> what the? Lops? Wait, have you guys heard of Lops, Luke, Barf, and Kyle? <laughs> I saw somebody, somebody say in the chat before I started the stream, instead of saying Forte, they said like Farte. I was like, that's so stupid, but so funny. That could be another character for Lops. In the foyer, I saw the small group of students that Missy gathered. The group was composed of Forte, Cannon, Ashley, Missy, and myself. So Lyle, Cyrus, and Say couldn't make it. Oh man, Lyle's probably... He's probably not doing that that good either. I'm not surprised. Cyrus is absent given his behavior last night. Given that he's a total fucking psycho. And Lyle should be a person of concern as well since he was so distraught from the conclusion we came to discovering Art was the culprit. Behind Pandora's death. Art just wanted to protect us. <laughs> sure, whatever makes you feel better. It's not his fault Pandora had an incredibly suspicious note. I don't imagine seeing her with the note helped, but with his head being so full of distress. That note is fairly damning. I would never have thought she would be in possession of such an oddity. It echoes over here like, well, I saw her with the note too, and I didn't <laughs> I didn't murder her ass. But you know, whatever. We'll just we'll just say he didn't mean it. He did it for our sakes. Slay art. It's okay for me to say that to you now since you've already done it. 
Thank you, Aiden Millo, for becoming a Sodanist. Welcome. But despite that, I feel like she had good intentions behind it. She specifically pulled me aside the night before to ask if I knew anything about the contents. That doesn't seem like something a mole would do, right? Didn't Cyrus already admit to being a mole now? We pondered the source of the note, but we couldn't presume much about it without the strange item in our hands. Our morning was already off to a rocky start. Ah, uh, that brings me to what I've gathered you all here for. Missy had the floor, taking face, taking place facing the elevator at the centerpiece table, while the rest of us encircled, encircled the opposite side. Please do not be alarmed. Oh shit, when I show you this, I'm already alarmed, girl. She placed the small cloth wrapped item she had been carrying on the wooden table. Oh fuck! <laughs> Don't be alarmed. <laughs> Oh shit, also Cyrus has one too, slay. Now, D Missy, don't say that word! Don't say that fucking word! It was a revolver with a note, ah oh, shit. A zero. A T, have fun guys! It Missy, what's the meaning of this? I told Echo before, but I'll reiterate to the rest of you all as well. I had plans to contribute my skill to the preservation project prior to the events of arriving here. However, upon arrival in my personal room, I found this revolver. Read the note tied to the handle. Cannon looked over and carefully read from afar. As a student interested in working with a preservation project. <laughs> what? One must attempt their hand in a single round of reverse, reverse Russian roulette. The fuck? Oh, it's like the one that Kamida played too, where it's like, uh, instead of one bullet, it's like all bullets and then just one blank. Oh, shit. <laughs> Don't you guys want to join the preservation project? Oh my god, this sounds like a great idea. We believe every ultimate student, should they be destined to live and change the world, will surpass the incredible game of chance, no matter what the odds. <laughs> Jesus! Reverse Russian roulette. A game of uh, unbelievable chance. Five out of six chambers in the gun are occupied with a bullet. The player is to spin the chamber, lock the chamber in, place the gun barrel against their own fucking head, pull the trigger and hope to survive. Without the knowledge of whether or not a bullet will be fired, your life is in the hands of fate. Jesus. What? That's fucking crazy! Who would do that? Some some psycho named Kamida, probably. What are the possible odds of somebody surviving that? The odds are far too high to take a chance on. One would have to be un inconceivably fortunate. It, it, you, di you didn't play? <laughs> right, right. I mean, I think we would have heard a gunshot if somebody... Oh, well, I guess if it was a blank, we wouldn't have heard it. Who would dare risk such a gamble if they were not certain they would survive? So, like, do we really understand, like, what exactly they get from, like, doing it, too? It's like, you get... It's just like a holiday basket or something like that. You get a box full of chocolates! Oh, I'm so generous! <laughs> wow, I always wanted a box full of Hershey's chocolates. Thank you, Zero. I'll gladly sacrifice my life. Missy's jaw clenched. Did she really... Did she really... Did she really not play the round? Dang, Echo. Being all sus. Suspecting her, the girl boss. That said, I'm showing you my hand because I want to suspend my disbelief. Huh? I sincerely want to trust you all. So I hope you can trust me as well after I've revealed this wretched thing. I wish for you to believe that no danger is to be contrived for me as I have no intention to harm you. She's like, gets the gun and like, <laughs> cocks it. It's like, oh shit. Don't worry. I will not, I will not be doing anything, anything suspicious. You are all safe in my hands. Missy, Missy, put the gun down. She carefully folded the cloth back over the revolver. It's like, I'm trying to think if this is a spoiler to... Eh, I don't know. Because it kind of, this kind of reminds me of a part in 999 as well. When uh, the characters found a gun. I don't think that's a spoiler. Uh, oh my gosh, she's doing the gun hand too! <laughs> Missy, stop it! I know you want to slay, but stop it! Have you, have you heard of a concept called the Stock, Stockdale Paradox? Um, I can't say that I have. I'll explain. It's a philosophy of duality. Named after a vice president candidate, the Stockdale Paradox is a concept in which one must never lose faith that they will prevail in the end, while still confronting the cruel facts of their reality. Oh, uh, thank you, big chunk of transcolored Bridget. Revolver, Teruya. <laughs> God, not again. <laughs> oh, man, at least little Teruya is not here. <laughs> thank you for the, uh, <laughs> thank you for the dono, by the way. It's a paradox of the self- an individual has to be able to balance the horrors of reality with the optimism of success to truly be able to overcome the worst situations. In this mindset, the acknowledgement of two opposing sides, 
is paramount in achieving one's goals. One mustn't get so hopeful they ignore the gravity of their grave surroundings. In our case, we must balance the hope that we will escape the clutches of this place against the despair of ultimate death within the walls. The four of us were petrified. Hope? Despair? <laughs> what is this? It was hard to process. Thank you for placing trust in us, Missy. We will not let you down. Let me see the gun. <laughs> no, I, I don't I don't think I will. We kind of fucked up when they started fighting over the gun, though, honestly. I mean, Missy's pretty trusting. She is trust... I would trust her if I was in the game. As, like, a player, I don't know if I necessarily trust her right now. But you, you know, you know what I'm saying? I'll make you, Brie. Is Missy doing a comfy check? That's my job. Coming for your gig for real, Brie. You know what you gotta do, Brie. You gotta slay. You gotta slay. That's the only, the only way to stop this. Thanks, Missy. You're risking a lot, but none of us plan to kill. If none of us plan to kill, then there really shouldn't be anything to worry about. That's, that's so true. Nothing bad will happen. Of course, there shouldn't be anything to worry about. We're all reasonable people, and we're all best fucking friends. But fear is a powerful tool. By showing you this item and telling you my intentions, I hope to dispel any fear among, among us. I, I, I see. Thank you for your cooperation and understanding. I couldn't believe how bold Missy was being. She could have easily left the gun in her room. Out of sight, essentially out of our realm of existence, where no one could ha cause harm with it. But she was venturing with high... <laughs> she was... <laughs> this feels like it was a mistake, but she was venturing with high hopes that her group truly had no ill will. I mean, at least she didn't... At least she didn't show it to Cyrus, I guess? Everyone agreed. No one would dare fire the gun. Even so, in a killing game, I feel like it'd be better to, like, just to take the bullets out of the gun and, like, hide them somewhere, maybe? You know, like, if Missy has the gun with just the blank, and then you take all the other bullets and just, like, spread it throughout the school, it's like, you know, I feel like that might be a better way of protecting the group. Y you guys feel me? You guys feel me? Thank you, Zephy. Gun exists. Kenjo. A comfor comfortable together. <laughs> Fucking Kenjo, dude. Thank you, Zephy, for the for being a member. Appreciate you. Even so, in a killing game, a weapon presented itself seemingly out of nowhere. Stranger. So it seemed like some students were left with some sort of item in their rooms upon waking up. First, Kenan remarking upon her camera. Then Ashley having Silva's racing helmet. <laughs> Why the fuck did Missy get a gun, dude? And finally, Missy with a revolver. <laughs> Her talent is kind of suspicious, too. What is she, like, the ultimate politician or some shit like that? But I also recall Forte having something that was seemingly out of place from the mansion. Oh. Um. I don't remember. I was born stupid. I'm sorry, guys. Wait, let me... I want to save my game really quickly, too. Oh, God. I know there's like a bad ending route at some point too in this. I'm like trying to make sure I don't get it. What was um, what was her talent again though? Ultimate tactician. That's what it was. I remember it kind of having to do with politics. <laughs> he's dead. That's so fucking sad. I only like one person and he's fucking dead. <laughs> this is so sad. I know Opta said they would help me whenever that comes up. Okay. Uh, for now I'm like, was it a, was it a mask? There were masks in the theater. No, god damn it. A ska or was it sheet music? I can't fucking remember, bro. Sheet music. That's right. Okay, cool. Oh, that's so true. I remembered perfectly. Was not born stupid. He was leafing through some sheet music. I wonder. That was what was the meaning of this? Crash. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? They pondered this strange trend. The sound of glass shattering shattering filled the room. Did I? Did I cook anything weird in their room? I can't, I can't remember exactly. I don't think so. Crash cling! The fuck? A group glanced at each other for a moment before running off to the source of the sound. Just like, <laughs> fucking Cyrus with like an axe just like beating up the walls or some shit. Maybe it's Lyle. He's probably having a mental breakdown, let's be real. Through the dining hall and into the kitchen, the sound persisted louder and louder. Oh no, it really is him! Oh no, he's going crazy! There we found Lyle in the kitchen itself, in a state of disarray, broken glass, battered metal littered on the floor as Lyle clutched a metal pipe, aiming for the oven. <laughs> oh my god, are you gonna try to kill all of us by getting rid of all, like, the food? <laughs> or the ways to, like, make food? Lyle, what on earth are you doing? Have you lost your mind? I never had one to begin with, you know this. What's it look like I'm doing? Oh! I'm testing the rules. Oh, okay. 
Okay. I feel like... Hmm. I guess he just has nothing to lose, which is why he's fine with it. Oh, thank you, Jai. Weeby, what do you what do you mean dead? Art uh, Art isn't dead. That's so true. I forgot he's in Paris, Texas. <laughs> the rules state that we're not we're not to damage the major assets, yet here I am breaking everything and nothing's happening. Oh, okay. How many things has he break it, broken so far? Dude, I swear to God, if Zero comes out and like kills him because of this, I'm gonna be so sad. And so far, nothing has happened. Don't you understand? The rules aren't enforced. Art. Art wouldn't have had to kill Pandora. He wouldn't have had to die by our vote. By your vote. I didn't vote for him. In the circumstances of a game, the rules are placed to create restriction. And yet, there's no arbiter or cust custodian or mastermind here to punish us for breaking the rules. So why should we be following the rules in the first place? We thought our lives were threatened since we were trapped by the, that electrocuting door. Did that even actually happen? No, Bessie, we're in a virtual world, remember? What do you mean? Of course that happened. Why would I lie about something like that? I don't fucking trust. Oh my god. Ah! Why are you still sussing me so hard? You're the only one who's affected by it. For all I know, Echo, you're the mastermind behind this. What? You uh, collapse and Forte and his good-natured heart came running to your aid. That collapse could have been entirely fake. Because of that, we were simply trapped by our own fucking fears. I mean, I God, this fucking guy, dude. This fucking guy. Thank you, Grant Roper. Or Roper, my dead hat gay is not dead. Stop the slit. You just called him dead hat gay, Grant. Don't you see what you're doing here? Don't you see? Don't you see? But no, he's in Paris, Texas, okay? I just keep forgetting. I keep forgetting, but he's there. He's safe and sound with Pandora. She's making him pastries as we speak. Be that as it may, the fact remains that the door was armed and is currently barricaded. There'd be no reason for that. Despite Forte's observation, Lyle ignored him. He was completely absorbed in his thoughts. I mean, the door was barricaded anyway, so I don't know if it'd really make that much sense for me to, like, lie about it, you know what I mean? Art didn't have to die. He- Oh, no! No! The angst! The angst, dude! He didn't have to die. He didn't have to die. He was muttering to himself as his grip tightened on the pipe. Oh no! He's going through his Taka era. Oh! Lyle's eyes gleam with intent. Those enraged eyes locked into mine. Oh god, is he about to fucking beat my ass? <laughs> to mine as he dropped the pipe, the metal crushing the glass debris into dust. I'm not gonna die. Not after him. Okay, okay, okay. Oh man, this is a good chapter so far too. God, so much fucking angst, man. Thank you, big chunk of transcolored Bridget. Zero comes out. Zero. No, my oven. I was still paying that off. I didn't buy the home insurance. Damn it, you'll pay for this, Lyle. You'll pay for this. With an impeccable timing, an announcement rang through the walls. It is now 9 a.m. And welcome to day four of seven. We're already halfway through. How exciting. However, there are far too many people alive right now and it's pissing me off. Today's forced motive question is... Drumroll. Do you believe your talent can benefit all of humanity? Yes, as an ultimate student at the top of your field, society will expect you con to contribute yourselves and respective talents to the world as a whole. It seems like... It seems like Zero really... I don't know, like hates ultimate students because of their talent. I don't know if he was, like, jealous of them, or maybe he could be kind of like an Izuru situation or something, where, like, um, whatchamacallit, like, he was experimented on for the sake of talent, and that's why he, like, resents them so much. Just a thought, because, like, all these, like, motive questions so far have had to do with our talents. Ponder this question as we set up our next motive for you all. Coming soon, the ultimate students everywhere! Oh! I listened to the announcement as best as I could, but the rest of the group paid no attention. Instead, they were trying to calm Lyle after his spiel. Lyle, we want to leave too, believe me! But we should put our heads together and come up with a plan instead of just fucking destroying everything. No, you all get my way! Lyle aggressively pushed his way through us, leaving the dining hall for the foyer with Missy giving chase. Oh my god, Lyle! At least try to break the windows or something that we can maybe escape from. Stop, stop following me, god! What are you, my mom? I alone will piece together the secrets of this awful killing game. If I'm not... 
If I'm not the ultimate puzzle master, Cyrus was right. If I don't act now, nothing will get done. You spoke to Cyrus? Yeah, he's my new bestie. I mean, I need a new boyfriend, okay? My last one died. <laughs> don't be inconsiderate, for Farte. I ran to him this morning in the kitchen. He doesn't concern me in the slightest. What? <laughs> With how Cyrus is behaving now, there's no telling what will happen next. You really ought to be careful around him. <laughs> So you guys don't approve of my new boyfriend? Stop it! Stop it! You're not my mom! You don't get me! Lala ignored M Missy's plea and marched over to the elevator, slamming the <laughs> slamming the buttons. <laughs> he turned around and held up his fist and a crumbled piece of paper in it. I swear, I will find the other person who knows the secret of this fucking note. That's the only clue Art left me. And damn it, I will do whatever it takes to get to the bottom of this. Lyle gave us one last parting glare before entering the elevator. Man, poor Lyle. He is, he's having a real hard time, man. Click. The elevator door is closed, leaving the rest of us in a state of bewilderness. Bewilderment. With Lyle on edge as it is, a talk with Cyrus sounds like a recipe for fucking disaster. <laughs> what do you suppose he's going to try now? I can only surmise Lyle might be going to the third floor to scour the area for other students. It's a new location that needs to be turned over after all. And yeah, there's like all those portraits from like other students, you know what I mean too. Forte and Missy sighed in unison. It was a really it was a good call giving Lyle the emo voice. <laughs> oh man. Let us hope he doesn't do anything reckless. Eh, I mean, it's a little too late for that, but whatever. Just as Forte said that I heard footsteps at the top of the stairs. Oh. A Cyrus. Um. Oh man. Oh, the electricity. Cyrus replied in a nonchalant manner, but his face was different, even more evil. In the light of day, Cyrus's expression was twisted into something disconcerting. Missy and Cyrus exchanged exchanged fierce looks once more. Only this time, the two of their emotions were catalyzed. I don't know, man. I could see something happening between those two this chapter. Before we could reach, like, one of them killing the other, you know what I mean? Before we could react, Missy moved swiftly to pursue Cyrus at the top of the stairs. Especially, like, Missy killing Cyrus, because she just seems like she wants to protect the girl. No, Loon, don't say slay! I feel like she might do it, honestly. She's literally got a gun, and then Cyrus is going around being like, Yeah, I'm evil. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you all. So it's like, I just, I see that happening. I foresee, I foresee the slaying already. Before we can- I mean, Missy's smart. Surely she knows when we say slay, we mean it metaphorically, right? That's- she- she gets it, right? Before we can react, Missy moved swiftly to pursue Cyrus at the top of the stairs. Missy, wait! What are you doing? Ashley went to chase after her, but Missy's firm voice stopped Ashley in her tracks. Don't worry, I'm confident nothing will happen here. I'd like a word with this <laughs> informant. <clears throat> She announced her vague plan as she arrived at the top of the stairs and forcefully grabbed Cyrus by the arm. Get him! Cyrus didn't say a word. Rather, he just made a disgusted face as Missy pushed him into the jazz club. Oh shit, she slammed the door in silence befell the group. She, she's getting ready to slay right here and now. Isn't the jazz club the room that's like soundproof too? <laughs> Um, sh should we be concerned? I, I think I saw Missy with the gun on her on her skirt too, so I'm she might just fucking shoot him. <laughs> We like going to the jazz club later and Cyrus has got like six gun holes in him. Missy's like, wow, I have no clue how that happened. That is so crazy. Who would do this? It's like that meme where they like shoot, that guy shoots someone. He's like, who would do this? Exactly that meme. Oh, thank you. Omega Panda 76. It's fine. My best baker girl, Pandora. Yeehaw. Will watch over my best shy girl, Say, in Paris, Texas. Yeehaw. She, well, at least, well, I don't know. I think Say might be safe this chapter since she's locked herself in her room. We'll see. We'll see. I feel like there's more drama going on with, the, with these other characters right now, you know? But yeah, Say's just like locked in her room. She was too scared to come out. Thank you for the dono. Appreciate you. Um, should, should we be concerned? Missy has a plan. I have faith she will carry it out to execution with the least casualties. Yeah, Miss Ultimate Tactician probably has some cards up her sleeves. Let's just leave her be. <laughs> like, psh, psh, psh. Anybody, anybody else hear those those gunshots? <laughs> no, I don't hear anything, bestie. Kinda made a rather snide remark, but that said, it seemed like everyone was confident that Missy had a plan, seeing as no one went to pursue her. <laughs> Ugh. I hate it here. Why don't we carry on the investigation ourselves? Investigation? Uh, of what? 
the mansion. Durr. We haven't found a way out of this place. I agree. Maybe there's a way out on the third floor. I agree. The third floor opened up to us last night, so there should be an opportunity to escape. Kenan, would you like to join me? Missy proposed traveling in pairs to protect ourselves, so if I may. Okay, cute. Yeah, I was hoping that they would remember. They would remember Missy's uh, plan. So I was a little scared when Kenan mentioned that. We should all sp let's split up, gang. Oh, thank you, Desperto. Ultimate slay. That's Missy. That's Missy right now. I can hear the gunshots. I can hear it through the jazz-proof jazz room. Jazz Damn it, no! No, why did I do it again? How did I manage to do that again? Not the jazz-proof jazz room. God damn it, Weeby. God damn. Why am I like this? The soundproof jazz room. I can't speak. I can't talk. My throat hurts. Why? Why am I like this? <clears throat> sure. With a stern reply, Cannon briskly began escalating the foyer stairs. Excuse me. For they followed suit. Which left me and Ashley in the foyer. <laughs> Awkward. We should check the third floor again now that the amenities are open. I can see you guys fucking. <laughs> God damn it, I can see the chat. <laughs> the jazz proof blat room. God. Oh god, don't remind me of blat room from yesterday. <laughs> the gun proof gun and the jazz proof jazz room. <laughs> god, it just makes the mystery so much more intense. You know what I you know what I mean? How did I do that a second fucking time, dude? How? We should check the third floor again now that the amenities are open. And hopefully we'll find those other students. Her voice was low. <clears throat> Ashley was pale with worry. There were signs of her friend Silva being here as well. The helmet in his personal room on the third floor. But the fact that we hadn't run into anyone for three days was cause for concern. I didn't want to say anything though. <clears throat> Ash, I'm sure we'll find Silva and the others. Ash's eyes softened. Thanks, Echo. She gave me a smile once more before starting towards the stairs. Began to follow, but something was tugging at me. We're gonna see, like, I'm trying to. Th I feel like we're gonna get some kind of confirmation that Silva's dead. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. This would be kind of a fucked up way to go about it. But since she has like his helmet, I could see us finding like their severed head or something like crazy like that. You know what I mean? That's so fucked up. But that would really traumatize Ashley, man. Like hard, hard, hardcore. And uh, thank you, big chunk of transcolored Bridget. Farte equals, oh my god, art ex forte ship name. <laughs> oh my god, that's gonna make Lyle go even more insane. <clears throat> First you send him to Paris, Texas, then you give him a new boyfriend. Disgusting. Hey, Ash. Should we... Should we take the gun? Uh, <laughs> what's that, Echo? Do you take it personally when the chat said slay? Um, I think we should trust Missy. We should trust everyone. Okay, so I guess she just left it on the table. It's it's ridiculous, though. I mean, <laughs> trust. It's such a lawfully intangible concept. Who can say whether or not someone will uphold it? Um, Echo, you're being a little sussier. Are, are you saying you won't? Uh, I would never... Of course not. I mean, like, I think they have a point, but it is pretty sussy. It, it's just... And then that's that. <clears throat> I mean, like, everybody has access to that gun if it's just in the middle of the table, you know what I mean? Like, I don't trust Cyrus or Lyle, like, at all. Like, maybe I could get, like, the trust if it was just everybody else besides those two had access to it. But, like, mm, I don't trust Say either. I think I think she's got, like, some major trauma. And I think, I think she's ready to slay us, too, honestly. She seems unstable. Huh? Missy wants to believe in us. And I'm guessing from our observed behavior during the class, the trial last night, she has no reason to believe any of us are malicious. In fact, the one person she thinks is the most dangerous is Cyrus. And she's, <laughs> and she's dealing with him personally. I'm pretty sure she's strangling him right now, bestie. No worries. Just make it, she's, she's gonna make sure Cyrus can't get access to that gun. I mean, I guess she could like lock him in there maybe or something like that. She placed her trust in us. Now we have to trust her. It's a give and take. I see. Trust. I pondered the concept as we made our way to the third floor. <clears throat> oh, man, my voice is torn up. I was like, honestly, I do agree with Echo, though. That's how I would feel, too. I'd be like, are we really just going to leave this gun on the table here? 
Upon arriving at the third floor, Ashley and I saw Cannon and Forte just entering the gar garage. I just know we're going to come back downstairs and that gun's going to be gone. And then Lyle's going to have it and he's going to be ready to shoot all of us, man. He's about to go on his Kenjo arc. Ashley herself revisited the door with Silva's school emblem and tugged at the doorknob. Locked figures. She knocked lightly a couple times, but to no avail. Her eyes were dark. Hey, maybe those other students are just gathered somewhere else in the building. It's a pretty big space. The whole floor was hidden from us a for a while, after all. Ashley snapped out of her trance. Her concerned gaze met mine. Yeah, we'll see them soon enough. <laughs> gunshots in the di I'm just waiting for them to hear gunshots in the distance. That's the other way it's this is going to go down. The gun's going to disappear. Then we're going to be just like walking around and here like boom, 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 boom. She lightly caressed the door before returning to my side. Well, let's see if we can find anything on this floor. Cannon and Forte just went to the garage, so why don't we check out the other rooms in the meantime? Let's see. Um, I guess we can just go in order. Smoke Lounge. Let's see what the Smoke Lounge is. I hope they have the little candy cigarettes that Ryoma used in there. That'd be cute. Okay. Oh my god, so much alcohol, dude. We entered the Smoke Lounge, a large room with a rustic design. Among the room pairs, this room was connected to the casino by a set of double doors on its right wall. Okay. Looks pretty, though. I like the stained glass. Immediately upon entering, we were met with a heavy, ashy door. <coughs> I covered my nose to block the smell, but the air itself felt thick and suffocating. Echo, are you okay? I'm fine. I just wasn't expecting the air to be so dry. Let's try to make it quick. Huh. Why is it like that? What kind of group would allow students access to a freaking smoking lounge with, like, alcohol over the wall? All over the walls. That seems irresponsible. Yeah, what kind of ultimate talent could utilize this room anyways? Uh, who knows? Let's make a quick look. Let's take a quick look for some sort of exit and move on. I glaze over the room from one end to the other with a single sweeping look. Oh, you know what I was just thinking of? So there was, like, fire in the title for this chapter. And you could use, like, alcohol to light a fire, like, you know, to make it, like, bigger. So I wonder if somebody's going to try to, like... Oh, you know, I could see Lyle trying to just, like, burn down the mansion, honestly. Because he's already going crazy right now. And he hasn't gotten any... He hasn't gotten into, like, any trouble for just, like, destroying stuff. So I can see him taking the next step up, baby. <laughs> Lighting the casino on fire. We'll see, but just, just a thought. The far wall had shelves upon shelves of fine beverages locked behind a glass case. With a bar to match on the opposite side. I mean, he can just break the glass. Come on. It was a highly refined atmosphere overall that felt rather unwelcoming to those of us who didn't indulge in this sort of recreation. We're all like 16, I think. I poked around in areas I thought may be suspicious, but didn't really know what to look for. Ashley seems to be out of sorts. I wanted to talk to her and take her mind off of her worries for a bit. So, I suppose I did have an ultimate talent after... I guess I did have a talent after all. I'm just like you. What do you suppose I meant to do with it? Well, it helped during the trial. Uh, that aside, I'm not even sure what kind of practical uses it has. Ashley felt quiet, instead of focusing her attention on investigating the room at hand. Um, at a loss, we decided to move on. Let's see. Okay. Oh my god, Art, he has his own gallery. <laughs> just like praying, it's just like Lyle Art, like all over the wall. <laughs> Lyle Art, Art, all over the walls. Let's visit the art gallery. I miss you, buddy, my hat gay. So sad. Where is he? Okay, come on. Come on, Lyle. You got to get in here and draw a portrait of art. You know what you have to do. That's what he would have wanted, probably. Maybe. I don't know. Crossing the third floor hall, we came to the spacious art gallery. Among the room's pair, room pairs, this room was connected to the garage by a set of double doors on its right wall. It's very picturesque and modern. Yeah, the whole environment is really inviting. Could some kind of exit or clue really be hidden in a place like this? Hmm. I feel like maybe like a secret exit or something behind like one of the paintings. I feel like I could see something like that. Oh my god, it's the art proof art room. That's why there's no art in here. This is so sad. I guess we'll find out. The art gallery is situated in a warehouse styled room. The high open ceilings adorned with bright lights gave way to several painted canvases that decorated the walls. Large, colorful work tables were lined up in the center, facing a small stage that held a sculpture up for the artist to see. 
Off to the side was an inset closet stocked with shelves, chock full of supplies. <clears throat> I wanted to try again. <clears throat> Lyle probably has some trick to memorizing different puzzle block patterns. I could ask him, <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, he's kind of he's a little unstable right now, so maybe not. Yeah, I think there's usually some kind of math involved. So there is that. Um. Um. Finding it, nothing fruitful of note, we moved to our next location. Uh, finally, my words make sense, though. This really was the art-proof art room. Let's see, casino. Let's visit the casino. It really was an art-proof art room, SMH. Oh, well, the, well, I guess, like, mountain lions, maybe? We visit the casino. A dim room with an expensive design. Among the room pairs, this room was connected to the smoke lounge by a set of double doors on its left wall. A casino. I suppose it pairs well with this smoke lounge. I guess some kind of ultimate ah, ultimate gambler could thrive here, but still. This along with the smoke lounge, it seems it seems kinda like it doesn't fit us, you know what I mean? Since we're like high schoolers. Well, we're not here for the recreation. Let's see what we can find. We split up and search between the rows of slot machines that lined one side of the room and the card tables that occupied the opposite. The slot machines spun listlessly as they sat idly by. The card tables themselves looked rather lonely. No chips or cards adorned the felt. I paced through the room twice over, but didn't spot anything of note. God, we're like not finding anything helpful so far at all. We kept coming up short in our investigation, shuffling the links of rooms in silence. I stopped prepping. I stopped peppering Ashley with questions pertaining to my talent. She clearly wasn't in the mood to address it. I guess she might still kind of feel like guilty in a way that like I was given a talent too because she didn't want Echo to really have anything to do with like the ultimate talents or anything because she thought it was like dangerous and now it's like Echo's literally a part of the group and she might feel like it's all because of her and yeah I think it was a Celeste reference like oh it, that's a that's a minor who gambled oh Echo Ashley sighed this whole ultimate debacle just such a thing is no bearing on what we have you don't need to find any sort of use for the talent. I couldn't tell you what all a jockey could do for the future of humanity or some shit. Was it too much to simply wish for safety? That in return, we must contribute everything in our powers to get something so basic? I wish the project weren't so incessantly ulitarian about our talents. Another heavy sigh. It does seem to be very, very heavily obsessed on their talents. Pandora said something like that on the third day in response to the forced motive question that bake that baking was simply her passion. Sorry, the talent assignment was so weird and out of nowhere. To be honest, I'm not even sure I believe it. I just wanted to talk to take your mind off of things. I let the sentence hang. I didn't know where to go from there. <laughs> Thanks, Echo. We kept looking. I mean, I'm happy for Echo that they got a talent. It seemed like that meant a lot to them. <clears throat> The three rooms, even though Zero was like totally, <laughs> totally dogging on them last last stream because of it. What kind of fucking bullshit talent is that, Echo? <laughs> the, uh -oh. the three rooms we visited were stocked with a decadent supply of recreation, but the fact that we couldn't find an exit nor any signs of life were cause for concern. Our entrapment felt more and more isolating with each discovery. Do you... There's one more room to check. I wonder if Cannon and Forte have finished their investigation. No reason not to join them if they haven't. See if they found anything. Probably not. Don't worry, the casino is casino proof. <laughs> God. That's why it's okay for a bunch of high schoolers to go there. It's casino proof. No worries. No worries, guys. Ashley and I entered the garage through its heavy double doors. There weren't any signs of Forte or Cannon in the room. Okay, fancy cars, dude. The garage was another warehouse-sized room that housed a large collection of vehicles. I wonder if somebody could, like, jumpstart one of these cars. That'd be kind of cool. Vehicles of various makes and models lined the warehouse like a row of soldiers. The luster of each steel body gleamed proudly under the beams of display lights. A car collection? Huh? Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. This, do, do, this does have to do with her friend's talent, right? Turned around to see Ashley shaking. Is this a joke? Ash is going to be, like, his car. Is this some kind of sick joke? 
Went to Ashley's side, but she shrugged away as she stumbled towards a cobalt blue race car. Ah, she laid her hands on the hood of the car and stared a hole through the windshield. I don't know if he's gonna be in there. No, I'm kind of scared. Oh shit. Okay, 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 it's okay. Okay, I was like, oh Jesus, if there's a corpse in there, I'm gonna flip out. This is Silva's car. Look at her face, was filled with mixed emotions. Oh no. I gripped her shoulders firmly and shook her out of her daze. Ash, snap out of it! Ashley blinked and took a step back, but her head was hanging low. Echo, this is a sign. It can't simply be a coincidence, can it? Her voice trailed off. <clears throat> it seems we came to the same conclusion. It was entirely possible that Silva was also captured and made to play a killing game. He is dead! But she would never want to hear that. Ash. Ashley, all these signs... <laughs> The Lulu era. All these signs must be set up just to get a rise out of you, bestie. Huh? Think about it. The mysterious group infiltrated the preservation project and kidnapped us. They must have known about your fight with Silva and are using it against you to vex you, to motivate you to do something horrible. I mean, I could see that, but it seems pretty likely he was in a killing game too. Let's be real. Let's be real here. They're playing mind games with you, Ashley. You don't have to worry about Silva. I told her these things, but they were... <laughs> Damn! Well, at least at least you're being honest with yourself. They were all a lie. Even so, I couldn't stand to see her in such despair. You know, a little white lie never... Oh God, I was going to say a little white lie never killed anybody, but I'm pretty sure that's not true. <laughs> pretty positive that's not true at all. Ashley rubbed her eyes and I saw her body relax. <laughs> Thank you so much for putting me back into Lululand. Yeah, you could be right. She sniffed out a voice of gratitude. Thanks, Echo. What are friends for? I gave her a small hug. Um, I'm gonna step out into the hall for a bit, if you want to keep looking. Oh, all right. I won't, I won't be long then. I let Ashley gather her bearings outside as I gave the garage a brief walkthrough. I don't know, man. Oh, gosh. I'm trying to think of how this is like, how they're gonna go about the Silva aspect. I feel like I guess we might get more and more hints about him until Ashley just like finds out that he's dead and then that, you know, leads her into despair or whatever. It's kind of what it's seeming like might happen. I feel like everybody's showing so many death flags this episode. I don't even know who to think anymore. And surprisingly, I found nothing. As always. <clears throat> I left the garage, disgruntled at the lack of clues for escape. Out in the main hall, I spotted Ashley in the midst of conversation with Missy. Echo, you might want to come hear this. Huh? What is it? As you know, I had a conversation with Cy- <laughs> uh, As in, I kicked his ass and now he's knocked unconscious. Oh my god. Not gonna say it, not gonna say it. Yeah, that was kind of scary. I'm glad to see you're alright. <laughs> Worry not. I'm here in one piece. I wanted to bring to your attention his strange behavior. You see, I tried to reason with him, to talk him, to talk to him from one person to another, but it's almost as if after he was exposed, he's been putting on a facade. Okay. I'm sorry, it's difficult for me to explain this gut feeling I have about him, but I have my suspicions. That was kind of what I was thinking too, I was like, he's just being so comically evil, you know what I mean? It's like, I almost feel like he is putting on a facade of some sort. I feel like most of the characters, you know, who act like that in Danganronpa games, it's usually some kind of facade. Zira said ultimate charisma wasn't the real Cyrus, but could it be the other way around? Mm. The other way around? What do you mean? Is charisma even a fucking talent? I was thinking when Zero uncovered Cyrus's false talent, revealing his true title, Cyrus's behavior became stilted and insincere. Perhaps charisma truly isn't, isn't his talent, but his behavior under that title seemed more organic. My apologies, I'm just thinking out loud. Although to see for myself, I wanted to talk some sense into him, but he remained steadfast and stubbornly irksome. If he continues to behave strangely, we might have to we might have another tragedy on our hands. I agree. I don't want to be too hasty, but might I suggest we try to extract information from him with Oh, I thought that girl, I thought that was what you were already doing, girl! With force! <laughs> Grab the gun, Echo! Missy's expression sharpened as she made a definitive decision. I could see her eyes glazing through a plan of action. I will- Ah! Oh, I was just kidding! I was just kidding! 
I will use the gun to threaten him into talking. I am taking the chat telling me to slay seriously. Make no mistake, I have absolutely no intention of firing it. But it will be fully loaded, and the safety will be turned off. But Cyrus doesn't need to know that. In that case, let me help you. I want to slay too! I'll get the rope from the climbing center to bind him in case he thinks of doing something funny. An X! <laughs> you got- oh my god, you girls! The girls are losing it! I was shocked, but Ashley and Missy were both in agreement. Ashley, my god! Jesus, guys, I told y'all not to tell them to slay. <laughs> I told you guys. See, they took it personally. Ashley, quickly, let us make prepara preparations and rendezvous here promptly. Are you guys going to ask me my opinion at all? They're like, fuck you, Echo. <laughs> We're going to slay, damn it. We mustn't waste any time with Cyrus roaming around freely. Hell yeah, bitch. Hell yeah, girlfriend! Oh god, the three of us spread down, sped down the stairs to split up the second floor landing. I thought Echo was at least opposing it a little bit, but I guess they want to slay too. Missy continued further down, and Ashley and I took a sharp turn towards the climbing center. Yeah, let's fuck him up! I was struggling to keep up, but eventually closed the distance between us as she dug through the lockers in search of a rope. Is it? Isn't this too? Okay, okay, Echo is. Echo is downing it a little bit. Isn't this a little too extreme? Fuck you, Echo. No, it's not. Look, it sounds harsh, but it's necessary to prevent future killing. We must slay in order to prevent slaying. Oh, thank you, Spanish Fly. They really said time to girl boss. <laughs> she, Missy took it personally when we said girl boss and slay, man. <laughs> thank you for the dono, by the way. Last thing I would want is to not keep an eye on Cyrus and have you get killed, Echo. No single soul is exempt from death. There's no gray area about it. I, I, I understand that, but... Oh! <laughs> what did I say? I knew that was gonna happen. I knew that was gonna fucking happen. Oh, uh, Timmy just dropped something really loud, right? That must have been it. <laughs> Nobody shot the gun. Oh, thank you, Rapa fan. 893, best friend and best girl slaying together. That is so true. We love to see it. I don't know. I think Missy just slayed right now. I couldn't wait any longer. <laughs> you guys were taking too damn long. Bang. Before I could finish my thought, a shot was heard ringing through the air. The shot sounded like it came from a... Oh, okay. Oh, the other floor. Missy, she must have encountered Cyrus before. How dare she slay without me? That's so uncool. That is so cringe, Missy. Ashley wrapped a bundle of rope around her forearm, grabbed my hand once more, and darted up the stairs toward the towards the third floor. Holy shit, is somebody dying already? That was so quick. She stopped me at the foot of the stairs and cautiously looked around the corner at the main hallway. Oh, shit! They are, they are really slaying. Oh, my God. Thank you, Maki Roll. We were just joking. I, she doesn't understand, guys. Dangarapa characters don't know what metaphorical means. Bang! The sound of another shot exploded in the air. It sounded like it came from the smoke lounge. Missy shot shot him once for herself, and she's like, and this is for Ashley! Psh, and this is for Echo! Psh. She just kept going. What's, what's going on? Oh, shit. Oh, God. Before I realized what was happening, I felt my body move on its own. Ashley had thrown the art gallery's doors open and forced me in. Ash, what the fuck are you doing? She slammed the door between us and I stumbled in. Echo, take cover here and don't- No! Ashley! Girl, you're about to die! Echo, don't move. Don't Take cover here and don't move a muscle until I get back. Oh, no. I feel like she's going to get shot too, dude. Thank you, big chunk of transcolored Bridget. Brisket, that is all. Thank you for the donut. Appreciate you. Oh, man. The side doors I tried steady my footing. In my state of dishevelment, I stayed put, not not knowing what else to do. <laughs> Just imagine Echo sitting there like, please, Ashley, don't die. I heard her footsteps soften as she further put furthering distance between <laughs> another bang. Oh, shit. <laughs> Missy? Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> Missy's slaying. Uh, oh, oh, another one. Oh, God. There was some pink there, too. Okay, okay, it's, it's okay guys. It's okay guys. Nothing bad's happening guys. This is all a misunderstanding. I was shaking I heard all the door is are more than one person gonna die this chapter. It's kind of feeling like it I couldn't help but fear the worst attempting to pry the doors open clatter clatter uh, But the doors wouldn't but oh did she barricade me in here upon further inspection the doors had no key or latch that would keep them locked Wait, locked? How? I looked around hastily for something to help me get out. Zero, help me. 
Oh yeah, the garage is connected to the art gallery. I can leave through there. Oh shit. Oh no, we're gonna find Ashley dead on Silva's car or some shit. I could see that, man. Arrange the double doors that led to the garage and tug. Clatter, clatter. I love how Misty was like, I trust you guys with this gun. Literally 15 minutes later, it's fired like three times. <laughs> Granted, I do think she was the one who did it, maybe. But we'll see. But the doors were simply blocked. Looking again, these double doors had nothing preventing them from being opened. Somehow, both sides of double doors had been blocked. No way. How could this be happening? I guess, collapsing. Echo, blame the chat for saying slay, okay? I I restrained myself this stream, I think. I think so. I'm pretty sure I didn't say it. Thank you, Sean Resendez. This is actually terrifying to me. I know, me too, dude. I keep getting freaked out every time they shoot. Thank you, Isley Rage. It's fine, someone just dropped something. I, God, I, I hope so. I hope so. Yeah, that's that's so true, bestie. Somebody just dropped something. They just dropped something. They dropped something like three times. Nothing bad's going on. Nobody's dead. They just very loud, very loud while they're packing to leave for Paris, Texas. I guess collapsing in the ground, the inexplicable situation I found my zoo found myself in. Missy, why why are you slaying, girl? It's possible Missy was out there with a gun. You don't have to you don't have to empty out the gun confronting Ashley. I felt a cold sweat forming on my face Missy you asked us to trust you girl. I couldn't believe how stupid I was for believing in trust I should have I should have slayed her right then and there. That's so true bestie picked up the gun when it was in the foyer Honestly, that would have been the smarter thing to do, huh? Trust it was literally Ashley too. That was like no everything will be fine. Don't worry about it trust Oh, ah, send running towards me. Footsteps. I heard footsteps from the main hall side of the doors. Lyle, you must be a raving madman if you think you can run around the building alone. Huh. I'm not doing anything suspicious. I'm doing everything I can to get us out of here. I'm like the rest of you. And what were you doing poking around the third floor personal rooms anyways? How'd you even get in there? That's none of your business. I have no idea who the other person is. Voices. I heard faint voices from the main hall side of the art gallery. I sprung up from the floor and banged on the door from the inside. Hey, whoever's out there, let me out. I hammered on the door until my fist fell through the air. Oh, oh, say, Echo? Huh, interesting. Thank you, big chunk of transcolored Bridget. Missy just playing reverse Russian roulette. Oh my God. <laughs> she, how'd she manage to do it so many times if she... It seemed like, it kind of sounded like she lost like four times in a row though, <laughs> honestly. Reverse because she's shooting at someone else. Oh, she's shooting at someone else and testing their luck. Ah, shit. <laughs> it's kind of fucked up. I wonder if there is like some other benefit to it though. I could see that being like a motivation potentially. I guess we'll see. Thanks for the dono though. Appreciate you. Echo. Say was on the other side of the door holding a bundle of ro Where you get that rope girl? That was the rope. That was the rope that my girl Ashley had. Why you have it now? There's no time to explain. Missy is slaying right now. She's on a slaying spree. I was falling all over myself, running towards the sound of the shots. Everything was a blur as I darted across the hall to the smoke lounge and threw the doors open. Oh, shit, dude. I'm so... S <gasps> oh, my God. Missy, what? <laughs> Oh shit, dude, he really is dead, man. Holy fuck, dude. Holy fuck. Man, he was acting so suspicious. Guess it might come down to it being like Ashley or Missy then. I mean, they're definitely like the most suspicious. I bet he's not even evil, man. And they killed him for no reason. Cyrus's body was because like it seems like I don't know it's like it makes the most sense for sure that would be Missy but I feel like once we get to the trial it's gonna like potentially be Ashley too because I could see Ashley killing Cyrus like in order to protect Echo you know since she like loves them so much ah man I'm so sad <laughs> lip bite Cyrus emote in the chat <laughs> he died too young Cyrus's body was lying face up blood staining his torso and hands. Fucking Missy and Ashley, dude. 
Oh my god. They girl bossed too close to the sun, man. I sharply inhaled and trembled at the sight. Ah! Seisha got a small startled response before disappearing from the smoke lounge entirely. I stood rooted in place, fear and confusion paralyzing me. Oh my god, Epta. Cyrus do a backflip. He's he's doing one right now in Paris, Texas. He just left this this body double here for us to look at, you know, just to confuse us, just to keep the plot going, guys. No, no high schoolers were hurt in the process of this uh, fan gan. The smoke lounge was in a complete state of chaos with Cyrus's bloody body drawing my gaze. Furniture was strewn about, glass cabinets were shattered, and fabric sprinkling the messy floor. My head stung. The miasma of alcohol rushed through my senses. Mixed with a thick odor of smoke and metallic scent of blood, creating an awful nausea-inducing headache. The room was already, yeah, kind of weird, too. Once I went in there, they were just like, Oh, God, I'm about to faint. <laughs> God. It's fine. He just spilled some strawberry jam, right? That's so... Tr exactly. He was putting some jam on some toast, and he spilled it all over himself. He's, go he's good. He also had a tummy ache, and he was drinking some Pepto-Bismol, but that also spilled on him. So he he's good. Thank you for the dono, Icely Rage. Nausea-inducing headache. Man... Dude, that was so fucking quick. Y'all did not wait 10 seconds. <laughs> 10 seconds. Can one of y'all stop slaying for 24 hours? Just one day. One day of peace. We literally just did the trial yesterday. <laughs> Dude, they beat the shit out of him too. They broke the glass and like, holy fuck, man. I wonder, huh. Was he, does he even have any bullet marks on him though? It kind of, hmm, I can see more so being cut. It's like a blood trail kind of this way too. Interesting. Does Cyrus go to Hawaii? I say, I think, I think he's going to go to, uh, I think he's going to go to Paris, Texas. Maybe if I'm feeling nice, I'll send him to Paris, France. <laughs> I think he probably was putting on a facade, like Missy said. But we'll see, I guess. I push slowly and... Oh. No! Oh, fuck! Wait, 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 wait. Is she dead, though? Is she dead? Is she dead, though? Is she dead, though? She just got blood in her... It's just the hands. It's just the blood in her hands from when she was slaying Cyrus, okay? She's... <laughs> I'm regretting putting you on the thumbnail, Missy. I feel like... Because <laughs> I was going to say it was her, Ashley, who did it. And now my other suspect is potentially gone. I don't know. Maybe, maybe she's just taking a nap, guys. She might just be taking a nap, okay? She was so tired from slaying Cyrus that she just had to take a little nappy nap. And I can't, I can't, I cannot blame her for that. I cannot blame a queen for that. You know, sleeping is good for your skin. It's good for your health. So she just, just take a little nappy nap, guys. She's good. She's good. She also spilled the strawberry jam all over her hands. Ashley's body. I honestly, there might be a third one at this point. We might be finding Missy's body in a little bit. Ashley's body was thrown on the floor, blood staining her hands. All my instincts escaped me, and my mind went completely blank. White noise filled my thoughts. I crumbled to the floor beside her, but my hands couldn't. Come on, check. See if she's got a pulse. Couldn't go anywhere near her. Bug! A slam intruded my gaze. Where the fuck are you, Missy? I know you did this, Miss Miss. <laughs> Little Missy. Oh my god. Isley Rage, thank you. Just a teensy bit of Kool-Aid. Ashley's <laughs> she's just taking a little nap, you know? Like, it's tiring when you eat too much strawberry jam. You get you that you get that sugar rush and then you get sleepy. So she's taking a nap. It's fine. Oh no, sleepy boy. <laughs> I was gone for five minutes. What the Dude, you miss so much. You miss so much. Thanks for being a member. Can't afford to take clothes in on Ashley's body. We're voicing their concern, but heard nothing. My senses were scrambled. The only thing I heard above the murmur of their voices was... Ah, uh, fuck. The eerie chime indicating... Oh, shit! Somebody really slayed! They took it personally! A body's been discovered in the smoke lounge! You'll be granted a period of investigation, and then you'll begin the class trial. Don't just stand around and stare at the bodies like you did last time, dumbasses! Please accept this generous gift of a special report called the Monokuma file. It'll be printed from the digital kiosk, and it outlines the details of our poor, poor lost friend! Your lives depend on solving the case! Get a crack on! Jesus! Okay, that, uh, man, that does, oh, no, that means for sure Ashley's dead, too, I was like, 
maybe they just ran into Cyrus's body and she's still taking it. She's still taking a nap. Little Ashley Washley. She's fine, guys. I can feel my whole body shaking. I couldn't take my eyes off of Ashley's body. I'm trying to think, dude. I could see it being like Ashley killed Cyrus and maybe Missy killed Ashley or something like that, maybe? The body discovery announcement and Ashley's body. Did that mean? I heard footsteps. Girl. Fucking Miss Angela. It's okay. She might not have done it. She might not have done it. But she's really fucking suspicious right now. Missy crouched down beside me and rested her hand on my back. It, it's okay, bestie. And then goes like, fuck off, Missy. I know you did this. Missy crouched down beside me and rested her hand on my back, slightly shaking me. Echo! Echo! I couldn't respond. I just sat on the floor staring. Missy reached past me towards Ashley's body. I'm still- I still got a little bit of hope left. Little- tiny, tiny bit. Missy, could it be? Life moved in slow motion as I tried to connect what I heard outside the gallery to the horrible scene at hand. Missy carefully moved Ashley's hair and gently placed two fingers at the side of her neck. Missy, don't you dare fucking touch her! Oh, oh, thank God. Oh, my God. <sighs> See, guys, the power of Delulu works once again. I knew it. I knew. I knew it. I never doubted for a, <laughs> never doubted for a second, even though I totally did. Oh, man, I need, to, I need a drink. Oh, my God. She's alive. This has been so stressful. She's alive? My heart was pounding, pumping, and it felt, and I felt new life breathed into me as I processed the revelation. Look, her bracelet is in neon pink. Oh. Okay, I kind of forgot about that part. Whew. Whew, man. That was so stressful, dude. Thank you, big chunk of trans-colored Bridget. Ashley just went and visited her, ult her ultimate driver friend in Texas Parish. She just visited, and now she's back with us. What a slay. What a slay. God, no. God, I should not have said that. That was not it. That was a good... God, what's like a... What's just like a good way to say slay without saying slay? Because serves already cursed too. I don't know. Maybe we can just go with serve. It was, it was a serve, Ashley. Her pulse is, is extremely weak, but Ashley's alive nonetheless. Is there an infirmary anywhere? She needs attention quickly. I'll check... <clears throat> I'll check the casino kiosk for a mass... Uh, Cannon swiftly left at, as the rest of us gazed in astonishment. We still haven't seen Lyle yet. My stare remained on Ashley's bracelet. Missy was right. It remained the same light rose gold color as mine, unlike when Pandora's turned neon pink. Even if that were the case, what was wrong with her? I, I mean, slaying, it's really, <laughs> it's really tiring. Oh, strike a pose. That's a good idea. She was just striking a pose. Oh, yeah, save. I probably should save, honestly. It's been a while since I saved. <clears throat> Okay. A search for an infirmary on the kiosk, but only displays the floors that we've been to. Then, does that mean there isn't one? Oh, man, it'd be kind of crazy to see her, like, die slowly, you know? No, there is an infirmary, but the infirmary is connected to the courtroom. Oh. Okay, I have to go down there. My body kicked into action. I sprinted out of the casino towards the third floor elevator and slammed the buttons. Echo! I need to get out of here. Take me to the car room. I shouted at nothing as the elevator doors refused to open. I continued to hit the buttons fruitlessly. Echo, please. I know it will be difficult, but it seems we must. Oh my god, we're just gonna leave her freaking lifeless. Well, not lifeless, but almost lifeless body there while we investigate. You must investigate in order to gain access to the courtroom. Missy had followed me all the way here. We wouldn't want to enter the trial without preparing ourselves. Therefore, we must work qu quickly if we're going to bring Ashley back. Please. I slammed my forehead against the elevator door in defeat. Aw, oh, man. Poor Echo. Damn it! Ashley! I let, on a, I let out an immense, heavy sigh. My chest heaved, and I felt my breath escape in shaky, broken pieces. I'll do whatever it takes. Oh, my God. Poor Ashley, dude! Dude, if she dies while we're investigating, like, while we're investigating, we just hear, bing, bong, ding, dong. Oh, my goodness! Another body! Oh, jeez. Slay, you guys! I dragged my feet as Missy and I made our way to the crime scene. We're doing this again. I was like, where's his bracelet? Kind of wanted to see. I mean, it's definitely got to be neon pink since we uh, already had the announcement or whatever. But, you know, we're doing this again. This horrible, horrible thing. Now I'm kind of thinking it's Ashley that killed him. 
searching for the culprit behind this sickening scene, only to put them on the chopping block for the game to continue anew afterwards. The cycle was torturous. Ugh. Despite that, Ashley was alive. I tried to clear my head. Yeah, Ashley was barely hanging on by a thread of life, but she was alive regardless. I need to figure out who did this. Someone took Cyrus's life and threatened Ashley's. There's no gray area about it. <clears throat> Man, that was so quick. <laughs> they really could not stop themselves from slaying. Every fire is a lesson learned. Oh, there was no fire, though. Man, Lyle, I kind of wanted you to set the casino on fire. Is that is that wrong? Is that wrong of me? Forte, Forte propped open the double doors that kept the smoke lounge and casino separated so we could move freely between them. In the smoke lounge, Lyle stood looming over Cyrus's body. Say was in the smoke lounge as well, gazing at the body from a distance. In the casino, Forte put Ashley in a recovery position and, mo and was monitoring, monitoring her. Cannon was standing between the rooms, glaring at the trail of debris. Missy went to investigate the smoke lounge, and I left to look on my own. Investigation! Commence! Man. Okay, I guess... Wow. There's a lot more uh, clues this time. Dang. Dang, dude! I was like, the fuel canister. Oh, is somebody really trying to set it on fire? Oh, hey, there's the gun, too! Okay, go to the casino. I was like, can I not highlight the blood? I thought maybe I could. Okay, I'm gonna save again, just in case. Okay, let's do look at this body. <clears throat> blood in his hands. The gun wound was a front and center in Cyrus's chest. Blood had soaked through his shirt. The deep pigment in inundated the cloth and oozed into the carpet. The gun would very clearly t tell his cause of death. But my eyes were more curiously drawn to Cyrus's blood-stained hands. The blood could have only come from one source, his wound. He must have tried in vain to stop the gun wound from bleeding out. Okay, that makes sense. Because I was kind of wondering that too, why he had so much on his hands. I trembled at the thought of what ended up being a futile act. Okay, glass. Broken glass and torn fabric litter the floor around and underneath Cyrus's body. A struggle occurred here, that's for sure. Okay, Lyle, I was wondering where you went to, bestie. It took place before Cyrus fell. The display case must have broke during the altercation, and he was killed sometime after, falling atop the, re the refuse. I was like... I kind of see Lyle potentially doing this, too, because we did hear him talking, like, uh, last minute, you know? That makes sense. He was, like, you know, like, I'm just trying to make sure we get out of here safely, unlike anybody else. That makes sense. It seems like the only way the room could have gone, gotten so messy. Well, of course. There's no one going to be, no one's going to be cautious about their surroundings when their life is on the line. Okay. I'm not really saying very much about each of these little, uh, <laughs> investigation pieces. It's a blowtorch! <laughs> Somebody did try to light a fire! Come on, Lyle! I know you're a pyromaniac. So that's what he was getting from the kitchen earlier. Okay. Cyrus? Huh? Yeah, what are you talking about? I recall calling... I recall cross paths... I rec you recall I crossed paths with Cyrus early in the morning, a bit before I started testing the rules by destroying the ovens. Okay, so Cyrus wanted to... He wanted to light the fire? Oh, the smoke-proof smoke... <laughs> he just wanted to test it out, guys. It was a brief meeting, but I was curious as to why he was in there as well. He must have smuggled the butane torch out. And he didn't say- I know! I was like, didn't- wasn't he like, yeah, there was nothing suspicious with my conversation with Cyrus. He's great. <laughs> my god. Why should I have? I mean, you could have stopped him far in advance from whatever he was going to do, you psycho. He's dead and clearly didn't get to- get the chance to do anything anyways, okay? So I did nothing wrong. Ugh. <laughs> whatever. The blowtorch went off. The whole room would have gone up in flames, considering the amount of alcohol spilled all over the floor. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I was like, <sighs> so Cyrus was trying to set the room on fire, I guess, and maybe the person who killed him was trying to stop it. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Oh, the kiosk. Oh, there's blood on it too. The kiosk has been knocked over. There's a faint streak of blood on the screen. It appears to be broken. How do you figure? I'm just taking a shot in the dark, but I think the Monokuma file was printed from the casino kiosk because this one wasn't operational. Canon has the victim report if you want to take a look. Probably some technology involving proximity or some such. I really couldn't say since that sort of thing is out of my depth. 
I wonder if the kiosk being knocked over has anything to do specifically with what happened in here. It definitely seems like there was a big struggle, man. Tons of stuff knocked over. I guess it was probably Cyrus broke the glass and spilled the alcohol, was trying to light the fire, then maybe Missy or Ashley started shooting. I was like, I really feel like it was Missy that started shooting first, but I can't totally tell. We gotta figure out what Say was doing this chapter too. I can't say. Oh, hey! I, oh my god, I said it again. The streak of blood implies that may have been, it may have been interacted with, but to what extent is beyond me? Hmm. I wonder... Oh, you know, it was probably Cyrus trying to contact one of us with, like, the little messaging system thing after he got shot, right? The kiosk being knocked over may have been just a casualty caused during whatever struggle occurred here, but the streak bothered me. I guess he could have just been putting the name of the culprit in there, too, if he wanted to, just so, like, we wouldn't... If he knew he was gonna die at that point, you know what I mean? Just a thought. Fuel canister! Why would I need fuel, a fuel canister if he had the alcohol to use for the fire? An overturned gasoline container. It's almost empty. Ew, it smells in here! Yeah, smoke lounge was... The smoke lounge wasn't really a pleasant place to begin with, but this... What do you mean? Well, when Ash and I visited the smoke lounge for the first time, the air was heavy with cigar smoke, I'm assuming. It was smoking in here, dude. So to see liquor and gasoline spilled all over the place and adding the smell, it's not helping much, I'll say that. I see. I didn't visit this place beforehand, so I can't really say, but I'll take your word for it. But gasoline seems to be out of place here, doesn't it? Yeah, I wonder if it came from the garage? Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. Probably got it from there. Don't know why exactly, but you know. Oh yeah, disgust too. I guess I can go ahead and do that. I'll do that after I do the gun. The gun. Oh, it's got blood on it too. I guess maybe, maybe Cyrus is able to get the gun at some point. Well, Ashley also had a bunch of blood on her hands, so it could have been from her too, I think. Missy's revolver, the weapon that took Cyrus's life. The handle is covered in blood. Four shots were fired, leaving one bullet. Quite a few people knew about the gun, so it might be difficult to determine who went to retrieve it. Okay. Man, this is not giving us very much information at all, dude. <laughs> okay, let's discuss. What do you gotta say, Lyle? You sussy baka. Lyle looks particularly aggravated. This place is a mess. There's no mistaking the fact that a struggle occurred. That seems to be the case. It's a shame I wasn't closer when this took place. Even after I swept the third floor earlier this morning, I managed to miss something as big as this. Call it bad timing. About that, where were you this afternoon after the fact? <laughs> Are you suspecting me? Edwin, you always suspect me, Lyle! Oh, dude, you always are suspecting me. You're always like, uh, Echo allegedly did this or was allegedly there. <laughs> like, fuck you, Lyle. What did he say last chapter? He was like saying that I allegedly discovered the body like I was the one to kill her. Are you suspecting me? Well, yeah, you are, Echo. Embrace it. Embrace it. Dumb boss on his ass. It would just help to know where you were so we can say you're in the clear. Huh. <laughs> I was with say... Say, you don't say. God, shut the fuck up, Echo. Say, but didn't didn't she keep herself locked in her room all day? Beats me. Oh yeah, yeah, she was the one in the hallway too, actually, I think, when uh, we came out, right? All I know is that after I heard the second gunshot sound from somewhere upstairs, I saw Say poke her head out of her room. I dragged her out for my safety and hauled her around with me to find out where the shots were coming from. We were all on the second floor by the time a third shot went off. So you two can vouch for each other's whereabouts? Yeah, what? Uh, okay, Lyle. So testy, bro. Oh my god. Well, maybe... If it's just like everybody Lyle becomes friends with ends up being a culprit, like Say was the one who, who did this this time. Like, god damn it. Can I not make one fucking friend who doesn't slay? Nothing. So Lyle has an alibi that can, ver that can be ver verified by Say. He's just being so suspicious about it. I should talk to Say to see if their stories line up. What puzzles? Let me, is there a, where's the log? I just wanna look over this again, cause it's gonna be important. I feel like they're not gonna have the same alibi. When the room beats me, all I know is that after I heard the second gunshot sound from somewhere, I saw Say poke her head out of her room. I dragged her out for my, dragged her out for my safety and hauled her around with me to find out where the shots were coming from. We were on the second floor by the time this third, the third shot went off. Okay, I think there was like three shots. Or was, I think it was three shots in total, right? What puzzles me the most is where did that gun even come from? Do we even talk about how many bullet wounds um 
Cyrus had too. I feel like that'd be important to know in case there's like, you know, more bullet wounds on somebody else. I mean, somebody else could have gotten like shot in the foot or something, you know, and they're just like bandaging it and covering it up. We should try to find, or you know, if the bullet holes are in like the furniture or something like that. I feel like that's pretty important. What puzzles me the most is where did a gun even freaking come from? Well, I don't expect you to believe me, but it was in Missy's possession. <laughs> it was in Missy's possession. She brought out to boldly state that she would not be firing it. Are you fucking kidding me? Do you believe that shit? She recommended we travel in groups in any case. Something bad happened. Soon if the off chance someone did fire it, we'd be in groups, able to witness alongside our partner. <laughs> well, that worked out great for you guys, huh? You're really... What kind of tactician would reveal their hand like that? I mean, it was a symbol of trust in a way. I certainly am not going to use it to cause harm, and I really... <laughs> I I mean, I don't know. Missy's just so suspicious. She's almost so suspicious I want to believe that she didn't do it. You know what I mean? And I really don't think Missy would. That aside, it almost seems like she was micromanaging everyone's expectations and locations by doing so. Ultimate tactician moves, dude. Uh, uh, interesting. I didn't really think about that. She was kind of micromanaging everybody's like actions it's all her master plan oh my god lyle's just scoffed and continue to loom over cyrus's body okay missy what do you got to say for yourself girl so four shots were fired that's so weird how did that happen Ooh, ooh. four of the five sh existing bullets in that gun's chamber four shots i noticed however there are three holes in the wall of the smoke lounge oh four sh okay there's four shots i was like there's either three or four and then three holes are in the wall of the smoke lounge. Okay, okay, so it was just uh, Cyrus that got shot, I guess? Then those three aren't the ones that killed Cyrus. Yes, one bullet is lodged in his chest. The problem is finding out in what order these shots were fired. Which one was the one that killed him? I wonder if they're all kind of in the same area or not. I guess it might not be um, very, whatchamacallit, um, uh, applicable for the case. Missy furrowed her brow. If they don't say it, it probably isn't. Echo. Her voice was hushed, a hushed whisper. Don't tell anybody, Echo, but I slayed. I sincerely hope this hasn't tarnished your view of me. What do you mean, girly? It would not ever. I mean, you know, the chat told you to slay. It's not your fault. Huh? It's clear that this crime has my name. <laughs> At least she admits it. At least, you know, she's... She admits it. She's self-aware, and I gotta, I gotta stand here for that one. This crime has my name written all over it. I was the one who revealed the gun in my possession. I was the one who left it out in the open, and I have no partner to support my whereabouts during the crime. You said it, girl, not me. And despite that, I cannot tell you my alibi. Huh? Why not, Missy? What do you have? What would you have me think after you just said all that? Please, trust me. I. I don't know <laughs> how how am i supposed to trust you girl the only reason i like slightly trust you is just because it's too obvious for you to have done this but it'd be kind of funny if she was just like stringing me along the whole time i don't know if i can she sighed i cannot argue with that we'll just have to let the trial discussion command our judgment i must try to produce a compelling enough argument missy <laughs> oh my god oh my god missy a nickname for her could be Miss Murder. Missy Murder. That song was so good. Hey, Miss Murder. Man, I just keep thinking about all my, like, old favorite emo songs from back in the day. From back in the day. Missy Murder. That, that's that's a good one. That's a new nickname for her. Oh, Echo. Oh. Say's hands were trembling. I don't know why, but she's so suspicious to me. I literally thought she did it last time. And I kind of still think she did it this time. I think it's just, like, the little cute, like, shy, ooh, ooh girl like personality i just like don't i just don't trust it you know what i mean i feel like it's an act i'm so sorry about ashley it's scary but i'm trying to pull through it was a relief to see her still breathing but i need to find out who would have who would have such ill will towards her that's very noble if there is anything i can help you with let me know yeah it was by afi i always like that song a lot yeah there is um what is it I was stuck in the art gallery when the crime was going on across the hall. Couldn't open the doors whatsoever. I heard some footsteps and voices after some time, so I banged on the main hall's doors. That's right. You were the first person I saw. Do you know why the doors were blocked? Yeah. The 
double doors handles were bound together with rope. Okay, so Ashley must have used the rope. I'm guessing, oh, and that's how she got the rope too, right? Okay, that makes sense. I'm guessing it was from the climbing center. So when I heard your voice from the inside, I unbound the rope and you came running out. She demonstrated how she found the rope by replacing the state on the smoke door. Okay, like that. Interesting. Rope, I went with Ashley to the climbing center and she got rope to bind Cyrus. Did the culprits, did the culprits steal it from her and insist to bind the doors to lock me in the art, the artless art gallery? That's strange. What kind of sick fuck would do that? Lock me in the art gallery that's art proof. <laughs> That's strange. Um, I was wondering where you were early in this earlier this afternoon. I know Missy tried to call you out this morning, but you declined. Say he's worried, bro, for road deeper. Well, I just thought after the events of yesterday, if someone was going to kill me, it doesn't matter what I do. What, what was she saying? And I wanted to do, uh, and what I wanted to do is stay in my room. The killer should break my door down or whatever. But if it was going to happen, fate would find a way. So be it. Uh, okay, okay. You know, after I heard the second gunshot ringing outside, I peeked out of curiosity. Who would even have a gun in the first place? Fuck, what did he say? What did Lyle say? Did he say first gunshot or second? Hmm, maybe. But it was pointless. Lyle had to drag me out and run me all over three floors just to find a bunch of nothing. Ugh. Seemed able to train of thoughts to herself, but it didn't seem like she wanted to answer for her ponderings. I see. Well, thanks, Say. Say seemed to possess a haphazard reaction to the recent events. Regardless, Lyle confirmed that he and Say were together when they heard the gunshots, and neither of them were aware someone had a gun in the first place. Yeah, the story adds up, other than the fact that I couldn't really remember if he said first or second gunshot. I think the first gunshot does make the most sense, though, you know what I mean? That was what she said, right? Oh, no. For the second, after I heard the second gunshot. So she's saying the second. Can I actually go back to my combo? With, um, oh, I can. Nice. Wait a second. All I know is after I heard the second gunshot, sound from somewhere I saw say, okay, no, he did say the second as well. Okay. Just gonna double check that. Rose of Lyle confirmed. I feel like just small details like that, it's pretty, pretty easy to forget about, you know what I mean? Regardless, Lyle confirmed that he and Say were together when they heard the gunshots, and neither of them were even aware someone had a gun in the first place. Do, 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 do. Okay, I think I've I think I've talked to everybody here. Oh no, Art! No, I gotta leave you there. I gotta leave you there so I can still look at you and pretend you're alive or pretend you're here and not in Paris, Texas. Okay. Um, how do I? Okay, oh, yeah, investigate. There we go. <clears throat> Ash, hang in there. She just got blood all over her hands on her skirt too. I guess it's just the hands that we investigate, though. I was like, could she have stopped, tried to stop Cyrus's bleeding, too, and that's why she has it on her hands? Because we assume that was why, um, you know, Cyrus had it on uh, his hands, too, you know what I mean? She didn't appear to have any sort of wounds, so the blood on her hands could have potentially come from only one place. Huh. Did Ashley try to prevent Cyrus's death? If that were the case, whoever shot Cyrus could be the same person who took Ashley out, so she wouldn't reveal the assailant. Interesting. Oh. What? Hand question mark? Other hand question mark? Okay. Uh. Uh. What was that? You little weirdo. Sussy baka. Nothing else here? Huh. I guess that was it. Let me read that again. If that were the case, whoever shot Cyrus with the same person who took Ashley out so she wouldn't reveal the assailant. It kind of seems like maybe she was trying to stop... Cause yeah, it's like, it really could have only come from his wound. So maybe it was whoever killed Cyrus also knocked her out. So I guess she would know who it was then, if that's the case. Do, 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 do. Is there anything else to investigate? Oh, good smoke lounge. Huh, is that it? Oh wait, what about the la Oh yeah, there's people here too, I forgot about that. Okay, Farte, what do you got to say? This scene is quite unruly. God, there's so many bots now. Dude, I don't know why, but they love my streams recently, dude. Ah, thank you, Isley, for, uh, for getting rid of them. I'm uncertain whether it will be more or less difficult to determine the culprit in this scenario, considering the many questionable items lying around. Yeah, as opposed to what happened to Pandora, this is a bit jarring. Where were you, though? I remember seeing you go into the garage with Cannon earlier when we paired off to search the third floor. 
I feel like him and Canada are probably safe. Hopefully I'm not jinxing them <laughs> too bad by saying that. <laughs> yes, and that is precisely where we ended up. Huh? The two of us were investigating the garage. As thoroughly, as thoroughly as possible, but found nothing of note. But the fuel was taken from there. Mm, actually, maybe that does make them a little sussy, now that I think about it. We went uh, When we went outside to investigate the other personal room doors, at the end of the third floor living quarter halls. But as you may have figured out already, these personal room doors are locked. Che, peccato. Huh? I heard him mutter something under his breath as he grazed the blue butterfly pin on his scarf. But I couldn't quite understand what he said. Oh, somebody else connected to him? Maybe? He might have recognized one of the symbols on the door, too. And that's why then, like, the butterfly plant... Plin. <laughs> oh, my God. The butterfly pin was from uh, what, that person. Him, where, where was I? Ah, Cannon and I heard the first shot on th of Ford. We rushed the garage and barricaded the door from the inside. Okay, we heard the first... The first shot of four. We rushed into the garage and barricaded the doors from the inside. You you barricaded the doors? We thought it would be the best course of action to protect ourselves. Neither of us had the gun, so it had to be someone else. A reasonable conclusion, is it not? After that first shot and through the fourth, we hid away in the garage until we heard a commotion in the third floor halls. Yeah, I mean... I guess it makes sense to want to protect yourself rather than uh, going for it. Especially after, like... So many shots, it's like, ah, just let them run out of bullets, you know? <laughs> then we'll come out later. It was frightening hearing all four of those shots in such close vicinity. I never thought we would come upon this gruesome scene. Forte sighed and mournfully looked at Ashley. So Forte and Cannon blocked the doors. That explains why the garage side double doors wouldn't open. I guess they could have gotten the gasoline, like, the or the fuel beforehand, you know what I mean? But, uh, I don't know, yeah. It's the only thing that really kind of caused me to have a little bit of sus on them. I approached Canada as she overlooked the two scenes from the doorway, opening between the rooms. You're probably wondering where I was this afternoon after we departed to search the third floor. I was with Forte in the garage for a long portion of the afternoon, as well as during the duration of the four shots fired. He can vouch for my alibi. And the main thing is they do just seem to have really tight alibis with each other. You and Ashley came upstairs after us, right? Unless there was like a trap or something they set up to kill them. Kind of like, um, well, I guess I shouldn't say the other trials <laughs> that did that. But, uh, you know what I mean? Like, sometimes people are able to do that. They're able to, like, create an alibi for themselves. So they're like, oh, Kano was with me the whole time. I'm innocent. Ooh, woo. But then it's like they set up something to kill them otherwise. I guess with this one, it's just like these murders seem so, like, spontaneous. You know what I mean? They're so quick that it's like, I almost can't imagine that somebody had, like, a really detailed plan. We didn't even get to do free time events this chapter, dude! I just realized that, man! You and Ashley came upstairs after us, right? Uh, yeah, we did, but didn't run into you two at all, though. We spent most of our time in the garage. It seemed to have the most potential for something useful out of all the four rooms. Cannon silently surveyed the state of Ashley's body, then across the doorway at Cyrus's distant figure. Oh. Here's the Monokuma file. I got it from the casino kiosk. Oh, yeah. I forgot that she had that. Oh, that was cool. Cool little animation. Cyrus Surik. Cyrus Surik. Cause of death. Victim's body was discovered in the third floor smoke lounge. Victim was fatally shot above the heart. The estimate time of death is 12.03. Okay. Like Pandora's file, this file is just as purposeless in telling us what happened to Cyrus. As for Ashley, um, I can't say. Do you think she might have been attacked? Like... Hit over the head or something? I guess. It's not impossible, but she's pretty tall considering. I'm just trying to think, too. I'm like, uh... Hmm. I'm trying to think. I'm like... Because it seems like it's implied that the blood is on Ashley... The blood is on Ashley's hands. The blood is on her hands. That sounds so, like, uh... <laughs> so melodramatic. Uh, the blood is on Ashley's hands because she was trying to stop Cyrus from bleeding. But what if... Could it potentially be that, like, Cyrus is trying to stop himself from bleeding and Ashley was trying to move his hands to stop himself from stopping himself from bleeding out? You know what I, You get what I'm saying? Like, she was trying to stop him from, like, uh, you know, protecting himself or whatever. Trying to, like, stop him from protecting his wound or whatever. Just a thought. Because, like, I don't know. I feel like the way that we're, like, looking at this right now is, like, Ashley's, like, this perfect angel, saint, amazing goddess. But, like, I don't know. I feel like... I do think Ashley's a sweetheart, but I don't think I should, like, totally erase the possibility 
of her, like, potentially have been doing something not awesome <laughs> in this case, you know what I mean? I guess it's not impossible, but she's pretty tall considering. It would have been hard to say what she was attacked with, though. There's nothing on the casino side of the doors that could have been used as a weapon. Yeah, what was she attacked with? I didn't even think about that. Our discussion fell flat, and we just stared at each other awkwardly. You seem a little more open today. Forte and I had a small parley in the garage. In short, he told me I shouldn't try to forego attempts to escape this game. She grumbled under her breath and ex exhaled sharply. That's cute, you guys becoming friends. Despite Cannon's frustration, she ended up providing more open conversation today. Likely as a result of wishing to avoid being caught in the same voiceless situation she was during yesterday's trial. Okay. It seemed kind of like it was it. At least for this. Hmm. Is there anything else in here to touch? Do 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 What about the lions? Do they have anything to say? Okay, let's just go back. Maybe there's something else in here I missed. Well, the music's changing, so maybe. Um, I let on a deep sigh. Conducting an investigation was harrowing. I was exhausted beyond belief. Our group was already so small. Yet, given everyone's paired alibis, it became difficult to say who was behind this crime. It was difficult to say. <laughs> Except one person. I wonder who. Missy murder. <laughs> what was Missy thinking? She had been lying to, had she been lying to us this whole time? That bitch. Oh, man. I think she probably is innocent, but God, does she look suspicious, man. No, I couldn't jump to conclusions so quickly. It wouldn't be fair to Missy. Regardless, I had a bad feeling about all this. Hokey dokey, you know, I'll, I'll know what time it is. It's time for the class trial. I hope you have enough ammunition to shoot down the culprit. If not, then guess you're all out of luck. Oh, the elevator will take you all to the courtroom. Once everyone is boarded, so make it snappy. The timer for your bracelets to release toxic gas is set for 10 minutes after this announcement ends. Don't drag your feet. It's kind of interesting, too, because Ashley is, like, the tallest person. Like, I wonder if she would be, like, the strongest person, too, actually, now that I think about it, out of, like, everybody in the group. I'm like, who could take Ashley down? Because, yeah, she's, like, six feet tall or whatever. So I'm like, I feel like I could maybe see Missy winning in a fight, which is another reason to suspect her. I rub my forehead in distress. This vicious cycle we couldn't see the end of. It continued once more. Why? Why? Why, God? Missy really should have just kept that gun hidden in her room. I don't know why. I don't know why she felt the need to bring it out. It's like, I kind of get it. No, no, I don't. I don't get it at all. I was like, I was trying to understand because I'm like, I guess she just wants to like put her trust in the group. But like, there's already people they like didn't trust like Lyle and Cyrus. It's like, girl, just leave it in your room where nobody will find it. Lock your door. Like, if you don't plan on using it, just don't use it. I would just keep it for like... I would literally just lock it in my room, honestly, and I'd probably stay in my room the whole time and just keep it for, like, self-defense or something. I went over to Ashley's side and sat next to her. I gently placed two fingers at her wrist and felt the faint pulse. It was such an eerie feeling, knowing Ashley was alive, but still so close to death. Forte laid his hand on my shoulder. Echo, we really ought to get going, lest we find ourselves in danger from Zero's capricious ways. They use such big words in this game, dude. Um, I was gonna say, do we have to, like, you know, drag her down there, right? <laughs> Snip. Yeah, you're right. Um, Forte, would you mind? Not at all. Forte lifted- okay, that's good. Forte lifted Ashley from the knees with ease. I'm kinda tiny. I'm, I'm very small. <laughs> Forte lifted Ashley from the knees with ease, carrying her to the elevator. I followed him behind, trying to keep a close distance to Ashley. Well, he seems pretty strong, I guess, at least. Could he win a fight with Ashley? Maybe. Maybe. Once again, our group ap apprehensively soldered into the elevator. How tall is Cannon now that I think about it? Is she as tall as Echo? Are people saying she's 5'8"? Wait, did somebody say eight foot? Yeah, she's eight foot. <laughs> oh my god, what a queen. Our community had shrunk by three. Yet in the elevator cab, we were divided further. Lyle and Say, Cannon and Forte with Ashley in his arms. Myself and Missy. Distrust hacked away whatever threadbare remaining connection we had. But this time, damning signs pointed at one person 
in particular, Missy Visper. Dude, Echo's already, <laughs> they are ready to convict her. Missy provided nothing to disprove those signs. She said to trust her, though. Come on, Echo. Don't be such a sourpuss. Cyrus has been removed from the picture. Ashley was at the cusp of following. I was confused, hurt, and alone. What was I going to do during this trial? Fucking get her ass, dude. Dude, I feel like Echo's just about to pop off in this trial, dude. The door has opened up and revealed the circular room once more. Oh my god, Cannon's taller than Echo? Seriously? Echo's so tiny. I rushed in and raised my voice, calling out the expanse nothingness in the room. Zero, Eve, we know there is an infirmary connected to the courtroom, so please, please help Ashley. With a flash, with a flash, the symbol for the other announcer, Eve, appeared. Echo, there is a cross button for the infirmary in the elevator. The doors will open on the opposite side of the courtroom, leading you to the infirmary. Is well, Eve seemed like she was nice, but she also does seem to have like some power over like the building and stuff as well. You'd think if she was like a good guy, she wouldn't have like any power, but I guess like maybe Zero just like didn't take over all aspects. Do you do I turned around and the courtroom side elevator door opened. I hopped in and pressed the cross button, opening the doors behind me. Forte swiftly carried Ashley in and gently laid her on the infirmary bed. He stepped aside as I clambered to the bedside. Aw, Echo. Oh, wow, they put her in like a pot or something. Jesus. Ash, please, please, please be okay. I feel like Echo's about to lose at this trial, dude. It was impossible to tell if she was breathing. Every exhale and inhale and exhale was so small and weathered. I guess I can kind of see us getting to a standstill and then Ashley coming out to uh, expose the true culprit. A glass encasing lowered to cover Ashley and the monitor above began displaying her vitals. Her heart rate had plummeted, oh wow, to 45 beats per minute, Jesus. I will do my best to monitor her. Please leave your worries at the door. It's not, it's not quite that easy, Siri. There is a greater matter at hand awaiting you. Yes, Echo, we need to begin the class trial. Her health is out of our hands. We can only do so much. The best thing we can do now is find the culprit. Our discussion will reveal what occurred. Ah! Uh, yeah. What, how Missy slayed? I knew it was her. I should at least step back. It's kind of interesting playing as a protagonist who's so sure of, like, the culprit for once. I feel like usually with, like, Makoto and all of them, they're like, who could it be? I don't know. Echo's like, fuck that bitch. <laughs> I know you did it, Missy. Ashley, I'll find out what happened to you. I swear on my life, I'll find the culprit that is Missy. <laughs> okay. Forte and I left the infirmary, crossing through the elevator that connected the infirmary to the trial grounds. Heavy clouds hung over the dome glass ceiling. Everyone was already in their places as Forte and I crept to ours. Another murder. It was unreal. Cyrus's mild and unassuming demeanor made a 180 when his talent of ultimate charisma was revealed to be a ruse. He quickly suffered the consequences, his sudden aggressive temperament coming to a full stop out of nowhere. Yeah, that was really weird. And Ashley's worrying condition. What could have possibly happened in the two rooms we found them in? I don't know, man. I still kind of feel like Ashley did it. However, despite the behavior Cyrus displayed, it was still shocking that someone would actually retaliate. Somehow it felt like a nasty overreaction. But then again, a hasty reaction was what essentially pushed Art to bring Pandora's demise. It was difficult to call Art the culprit after the lack of black and white intentions. Yeah. <laughs> Art, I miss you so much. <laughs> I miss you so much. Oh, I like the inverted colors. It's cool. But in the grand scheme of things, the rules of society were set to deliver retribution to those who commit crimes. Who's to say this place operated under the same conditions? Oh no, Art, he looks so sad in splash art too. He doesn't even like Paris, Texas, dude. He hates it there. The courtroom was eerily silent as we waited for Zero to appear. The atmosphere was justifiably tense. I like to think that... <laughs> oh, thank you, uh, Sci-Fi Games, for joining the Kenjo Cult. I was just thinking too, I can't, I don't think I said this uh, idea yet, but I was thinking too, like when uh, Art, like, uh, you know, is when he passes on and it's like are you excited art you get to go to paris like oh my god really i've always wanted to go to paris texas wait what paris texas art are you fucking kidding me dude <laughs> oh man poor art the atmosphere is justifiably tense lyle and say shared a similar dark vibe 
Ken and Forte both looked unnerved. And Missy managed to put a poker face on despite the situation. Yes, it's about time you guys got here. And again, I have to say it. It's weird how quiet you bunch are. Is no one amped up for another class trial? I put a lot of work into these, you know. Of course we're not excited, you knave. Oh, Missy's so mean. It's too bad you're the culprit. <laughs> Lamau. It's a shame no one's excited, but this ball ball's gonna keep rolling whether you like it or not. Here we go. Class trial. All rise. Wait, did Echo do a rap song? I don't think they did. Echo, I cannot get in the mood. If you're not gonna do a rap song before the trial, what the hell? <laughs> Sora would never leave me. She would have never left me hanging like this. I am offended and disgusted and so upset. I'm gonna have to cancel you on Twitter now, Echo. I don't make up the rules. Let's go with the rules. Echo is around when she's like, fuck you, Missy. I know you killed Ashley. <laughs> Let's go with the rules, shall we? You're all on trial to figure out who the culprit is of today's heinous crime. The rules are as follows. Discuss, discover, determine who the culprit is among your group. A majority vote will seal the individual's fate. <laughs> we'll just see what happens from there. <laughs> yeah. One of the few outcomes will occur. Determine the vote incorrectly and the entire class is executed. With the culprit alone, able to walk free and win the prize. That's the ideal end game for the culprit. Determine and vote correctly and the culprit alone will receive your proper, proper retribution and perish at the hands of your group decision. Phew, you might live to see another day. <laughs> Maybe. Our victim today is Cyrus Saruk, the ultimate charisma. <laughs> Just kidding! More like ultimate nonsense, am I right, losers? Was no one suspicious of his name and talent? If you guys really believed his last name was just his first name backwards? Fucking dumbasses. <laughs> but oh, I knew that from the last trial. I love how Zero just roasts us, man. Oh, I would be. It really shouldn't be a surprise to anyone that charisma's not really a fucking talent. Come on. Regardless, I called out his drivel last night. And look where we are now. You were all very quick to take what I said to heart, huh? Boo-hoo. Well, I'm glad. It saves me from having to get a motive set up and all that shit. So without further ado, discuss away. Don't mind if I do. Lyle. Miss- <laughs> Lyle. Missy. Lyle. Missy. <laughs> Just saying each other's names. You think you know what I'm gonna say, huh? Then say it for yourself, you fucking murderer. You think I'm suspect. Oh, gold star. The point is moot. I'm not the culprit. And that's all I'll say on the matter. <laughs> Girl boss away. <laughs> no evidence, no proof. Just gonna say it's not me. Tell him, Echo. Echo's like, even I don't fucking believe you, Missy. That shit's not gonna work on me. That's all I'll say on the matter. <laughs> And you expect me to just roll with that? Because if you all vote incorrectly, then we'll all be in danger. Prove my innocence or take my word for it. Missy, what is wrong with you? Don't you think that's a bit too much to ask given this circumstance? <laughs> Missy's like, but I couldn't have done it because I didn't do it. <laughs> Checkmate. <laughs> Got it. I have my convictions. I'm refused. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> Girl, I'm refusing to share my alibi for reasons. <laughs> and yet you don't fear the consequences? You're ridiculous. I'll lay it all out nice for you, okay? Well, I don't know. It kind of makes me think that, like, Ashley was the one who did it. And maybe that's why she's not sharing her alibi. Because she doesn't want Ashley to get convicted. I don't know. I'm really hung up on the idea that it's Ashley. But I just, like, I don't understand why she's literally not telling us her alibi at all. <laughs> And then we can discuss whether or not holding your tongue is the wisest thing to do in this scenario. Consider the facts. You are not partnered with anyone. You refuse to share an alibi. And you are the one who had the gun in the first fucking place. And she was literally like, I'll go get the gun. It's time to slay Cyrus. Do you know what killed the victim this time? A gun, you dolt. A gunshot. You likely proposed traveling in groups so you could operate on your own. Isn't this all too damning not to be true? <laughs> but I can't, I couldn't have done it because I said I didn't. Tell him, Echo! Despite her dangerously challenge her dangerously challenging Lyle, I held my belief in Missy. Did you? Did you, Echo? 
<laughs> I wanted in all sincerity to trust everyone involved in this horrible game, but considering two people have been murdered, one executed and one attacked, it was becoming difficult to justify my stance. I feel like Echo's been kind of flip-flopping on trusting Missy or not. It's like one moment they'll be like, Missy fucking did it. The next moment they'll be like, I believe in my queen girl boss. I don't understand. What was there for Missy to hide? You know what? Forget it. I'm taking charge of this discussion. Once again, I can only rely on myself. Echo, you're a walking record of events. Tell me why I shouldn't think Missy was alone during the crime. Wait, walking record? I'm not some kind of encyclopedia of evidence. Or canon, whoever the fuck, I don't give a shit. If you have some sort of weird photo, fess up. Echo or canon, I don't care. <laughs> oh my god, are you doing the tell them Echo? I thought it was Missy doing, but it's actually him. <laughs> tell, tell them Echo. You guys can't both say it to me, okay? It's confusing me. Oh, you're both on opposite sides too. Tell them Echo, tell them Echo. <laughs> Oh, god damn it. Echo or canon, I don't care. What do you ought to pipe up with something we can work with? It can't be possible that neither of you two saw anything. Oh my god, dude, he is so... Oh my god. So on my case, bro. Lila has a sight set on getting something out of me and canon, but as far as I know, neither of us could have really seen anything. They're both trapped in other places. Shut up, Lyle. I have no photograph of the sword. But when we arrived on the third floor, we didn't see anyone in the halls. I was in the garage with Forte for the majority of the afternoon. Yes, as soon as we heard the first shot, I suggested we retreat to the garage. And blocked entry for the two doors, the main hall door and the art gallery. And, the, and we blocked those doors. As for me, after two shots were fired, I found myself stuck in the art gallery. And the third floor activity rooms can be locked. Cannon and Forte blocked the garage side doors. And the main do side doors were just inexplicably locked? Of course not, Cannon! Forte... Of course not. Cannon, Forte, and Echo are sharing the same story. This proves nothing. Okay, it's just one thing I under feud anyways. I guess it's just gonna be talking about the rope thing or something. Lala has a sight set on getting something out of me and Cannon, but as far as I know, neither of us could have seen anything. Do, 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 do. Shut up, Lala. I have no fucking photograph, you dipshit. <laughs> okay. Do, 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 Hold on. Say, <laughs> say, say, can you recall what happened when we met earlier? I love names like that, like so and say, where you can just come up with, uh, <laughs> come up with, um, little puns for them. Before we discovered Cyrus's body, that is. Um, when we met, you came tumbling out of the art gallery when Lyle and I arrived on the third floor. Yeah, but I couldn't leave the room from the inside. Oh, yeah. Lyle, when we arrived on the third floor, there was a banging coming from the gallery. I couldn't check to see who or what was inside until I unwound the rope that bound the double doors together. I was kind of surprised she was the one who even said that. And said, Con confluence? Discussion, progress! See, Lyle, there's no way either Cannon or I saw anything that happened during the crime. <laughs> You're on your own, buddy. If anything, Say and Lyle's whereabouts ought to be grilled as well, since they could have more questionable actions than us. That's right. Say, Missy, say, say, Missy said you were alone in your personal room for a portion of the morning. Yeah, she declined an invitation to my morning announcement. Yeah. Um, but later, after I heard the two shots, I poked my head out. Only to get tracked in my room by Lyle. I was investigating the mansion. I figured if anything fishy was going on, I'd have to, I'd have a witness with me to back up my testimony. Smart. And while nothing happened to us in particular, at least I had say there to support my alibi during the gunshots. Despite that, you were still acting suspiciously this morning. Smashing the ovens and all that crazy shit. And yeah, he was like, and yeah, when we were, um, well, I guess he was just saying he was investigating. Because it was him and Say talking outside of the art room, the art proof art room, when, um, Echo was locked in there. And we heard them saying, or I guess it was like Lyle saying like, I'm the only one trying to protect us. I guess he's just saying he was like investigating or something. And that's what he was doing to protect us. But uh, yeah, he was just uh, have a witness to back up my testimony. I guess that's what he's doing. I just, I don't know. I couldn't really get out the idea that he might light the mansion on fire, honestly. Lyle, don't you think yourself, you yourself wore an explanation for what you were doing? Huh? I don't need to justify anything I'm doing. I'm perfect. I've literally never done anything wrong in my entire life. Ask Art. Eh, Art's not here anymore. How dare you bring that up? I'm the ultimate puzzle master. Put in this evil game to solve it, inside and out. If you all have any faith in your ultimate talents, you'll have faith in mine and my goals as well. 
I don't care if I break the rules. It's all a part of the plan. I'll avenge art. I'll stop the killings. And I'm solving this killing game on my own, come hell or high water. But didn't it occur to you that I'm on the same... Girl, but you were being so sus. And it occurred to you that I'm on the same agenda. What? There aren't any sticks for you, Missy. Y your boyfriend didn't die. Oh, no. Art was the only one, only person I've encountered that made my talent worthwhile. Aw. I can only trust myself. I'll work alone until I can grasp the solution of my own hands. Only then will it be real. Everyone involved. You're all just pieces of this puzzle. Man, literally sees us. It's just like objects. Phew, what is this guy even saying? He's cray cray. You're an oddball, Lyle. But thanks for reminding me. Reminding you of what? I don't have much power outside the courtroom, believe it or not. Even mostly controls the monitors, all that outside boring stuff. But I knew you'd all eventually end up back here soon enough, so I just had to wait. Wait, what? Oh, oh what the fuck? Oh my god, no, he's getting punished now. I totally forgot. Oh my god, I never got punished for that. I kind of forgot about that part. Ah, shit, what are you doing to him? Oh, no, it's pop music. Where is the My Chemical Rocks? Like, imagine he's like blaring like... Pop music, no, no, not the Hillary Duff song, I can't handle it, no, please stop, this is too cruel, it's so peppy, oh god, thank you, Isley Rage, what do you, Lyle, what do you mean, Art is alive and, well, I swear, he's just upset because he hasn't gotten to go to Paris yet, you know what I mean, he's just, he's just sad, <laughs> thank you for the dono, appreciate you. The snap, the trial wall slammed open to reveal a large metal hexagon adorned with a cruel looking M. Oh, oh, is it supposed to be? Oh, it is supposed to be an M, isn't it? I never even fucking noticed that. <laughs> Lyle crumbled the floor as we backed away, astonished at whatever invisible pain was being inflicted upon him. It's a sonic weapon. High-powered sound waves from me personally to Lyle. This is what you get for fiddling with my trapdoor. Ah, uh, no. I can't handle this. Not the Megan Trainer songs, no. Oh, she's such a girl boss. It's killing me. Oh, I think Lyle's brain has been fried enough. <laughs> There's just no fun or suspense to be had in killing myself. Killing you myself unless I'm executing a culprit. Okay. I was like hoping that he wouldn't die from that, honestly. Don't mess with my stuff. Ugh. Lyle's I was gonna, just imagining him being like uh, totally like despair mode, but he's just like, it's like, Lyle, are you okay? It's like, I, the pop music is too much. Can't live for it. You girls, they're unforgettable. No, God, it's stuck in my head. It's stuck in my head. No. Somehow Lyle remains standing. Ah, uh, please, we must move the discussion along. Unless we face similar, a similar dangerous fate, we need to discuss the, shut the fuck up, Missy. We're here because of you. I love Lyle, dude. He's so problematic. Lyle was livid, fighting back against collapsing by will of sheer force. I'm taking control of the discussion this time. You just, you did such a great time last time too, Lyle. Echo, I need you to recall as much information as you can about the murder weapon, the gun. What? <laughs> Tell them, Echo. He really is. Oh my god, he is just, what? He's dying to be the Tagami of this trial. What? Who do you think you are, the man? I just shut the fuck up. Tell the back. Okay, fine. <laughs> I am Lyle Termina, the ultimate puzzle master. Need I say it again? I'll solve this case like I solved all the puzzles that have come my way. Your memories are a tool for solving this, and I'll be damned if I don't use something as instrumental as that. It's like you literally just see me as a tool to be used for your stupid puzzle. Get to it, Echo. <laughs> Fucking Lyle, bro. Tell them, Lyle. I don't have all fucking day. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, I'll try to relay what I remember to you all. Jesus Christ. Lyle might have it out for Missy, but going over the timeline could help us put her in the clear. I think it could be best to start from when the murder weapon was revealed. Maybe back when we... Maybe then we can trace who had it in the final moments? Who is the person originally in possession of the gun? It was uh, Missy, right? Yeah. Missy Vesper was the one who in this is just gonna make her seem so sus, honestly. Missy Vesper was the one who initially revealed the gun this morning. She said she woke up in her personal room with the gun given to her as a test to see whether or not she belonged to the preservation project. Missy called me and some other students to discuss her possessing the gun. Who are the other students in the group? 
Me, Forte, Ashley, Missy, and Cannon. No, Say wasn't there. Ashley, Missy, Cannon, and no, and Lyle. Lyle wasn't there. Yeah, Lyle wasn't there, and then Say wasn't there. So it is me, Forte, Ashley, Missy. Was Cannon there? I guess Cannon was there. Missy assembled a small group for a meeting. There she brought the existence of the weapon to our attention and discussed her intentions with the gun. She would not cause any harm with it. The group consisted of Forte, Ashley, Missy, Cannon as well. Everyone that morning meeting agreed to take place in implicit trust in our peer. Oh yeah, yeah, Cannon was there. I thank you, a big chunk of transcolored Bridget. Bridget, that is so true, bestie, so true. Thank you for the dono. Missy left the gun. Smoke lounge in the foyer. After the meeting, Missy left the gun on the main foyer table. Wrapped in cloth, she had been carrying it in. After discussing the existence of such a weapon, so something happened. Lyle was destroying the kitchen. Steve was poking around the pantry. But Kenna was photographing- Oh my god, Kenna was photographing plants like the queen she is. Those are some pretty ass pictures, Kenna. Hey, thank you. I know. We discussed the existence of the gun, among other things, until we were interrupted by a loud sound coming from the kitchen. Our whole group went over at once to see what was going on, and there we found Lyle destroying the kitchen oven as a means to test the rules. Lyle announced that he would solve the killing game and went to the third floor. Yeah. Oh, oh my god, thank you, Cannon. Pop off, Echo. This this is making up for the cringe from the first stream. <laughs> thank you, Cannon. The only person to not bully me this stream so far. Okay, the third floor. Lyle said he would solve the killing game and absconded, absconded to the third floor to look over for more clues, all the while clutching this secret note from yesterday. He left the kitchen and took the elevator up as the rest of us remained in the foyer, confused. Shortly after, Cyrus appeared at the top of the second floor stairs, causing someone to act. Missy Vesper. Shortly after, Lyle departed to the floor, third floor. Cyrus made an appearance at the top of the second floor stairs. Missy went up to confront Cyrus by having a conversation with him in the jazz club. Yeah, I was like, we need to know what that conversation was. We did not get, like, any information on that. The rest of us went to investigate the third floor for an escape route. I believe it's worth mentioning that Cannon and Forte went up first, with me and Ashley following afterwards. None of us took the gun. Um, from the looks of it, Missy and Cyrus's conversation in the jazz club is a gray area that none of us were privy to. Care to explain yourself why we shouldn't be suspicious of a private altercation moments before his murder? I was attempting to extract information from him and maybe I beat him up a little bit. Maybe I fired the gun once or twice. Get off my ass! <laughs> As you know, he was acting intensely suspicious yesterday. However, rather than avoid him, I thought to take action and confront him head first. You mentioned this before, but can you explain why you think he's putting on a facade? I, I mean, for all we know, every word out of his mouth could be a lie. Body language. Oh, huh, body language. Huh, it seems Cannon noticed it as well. Okay, Cyrus's body language gives off the impression that he's tense, as if he were being pressured or under stress. I guess it kind of makes sense Missy and Cannon would be the ones to notice, because um, I guess Cannon's probably taking a lot of pictures of people, and she can tell, like, slight differences in people when they're like nervous or tense in a photo. I feel like photographers are pretty good at that. And then of course, you know, Missy is the ultimate girl boss, tactician. Actions speak louder than words after all. That's true. I did think he looked a little more foreboding than usual. Ultimately, did you get anything from him? Poor Forte, dude. He's been totally, <laughs> he's been totally overshadowed this trial so far. <laughs> Unfortunately not. He was just the same. Certainly, stubbornly cryptic person as the last night. Forte's like everybody else here in the stupid trial's crazy. So that's it. An Echo's recollection of people involved with a murder weapon whose name came up several times. Missy. Ugh. So you don't think your course of actions would heavily imply a murderous intent that led to this circumstance? <sighs> dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Oh no, is she about to pop off? Yes. Signs are strenuously pointing towards me, being the one behind it all, but... I don't wish to divulge... <laughs> Girl, you cannot keep getting away with- Girl, you're gonna kill us all if you didn't actually do this! But I do not wish to divulge the reasons behind those actions. <laughs> I cannot keep defending you. I don't want to admit it, but beginning- I'm beginning to have my- Beginning to have my doubts about Missy. But if this discussion was worth anything, it had to be a test. Whether or not I could really trust Missy. She revealed a gun after all. And asked us to tactfully trust her. Should I even trust her to begin with? What if she was just goading someone? 
on to be incriminated so she could get away with it. Should I? Oh, fuck! Oh, no! Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, god damn it! This is like the Kyoko scenario all over again. Okay, we probably have to trust her, though. I guess this might be the, uh... Because I knew there was some kind of, like, a uh, separate path for this one. Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck! I think the alternate route, um, spoils the culprit, though. So I'm like, I think it probably, it might be good for a mod or something to tell me what to choose, since the other one does, uh, spoil it. I think I'll probably trust her, though. Let me just take a drink. Or wait, is this it, Epta? Is this it? Is this what you're telling me about? <laughs> oh yeah, I did save, right? Let me just save again, just in case. I'll save the first one. Okay, there we go. Save the game. This is the alt choice. It's like, probably... Probably yes. I don't trust her, but... <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you, Epta. I was like, I feel like that's probably the right thing to do. Especially since in Danganronpa 1, you're supposed to trust Kirigiri, even though she was sus. But, let's see. I feel like it's kind of meant to parallel that, uh, thing. Dot, dot. Dot, dot. I want to believe in her. That means scrutinizing her actions to free her from suspicion. We couldn't afford to jump to conclusions. If I may, I think we need to turn over as many questionable faction facts as we can lift suspicion. I agree. The evidence is unmistakably plain painted with Missy's name, but I'm still not convinced that she would have the malicious intent to kill Cyrus. Missy was the one who suggested splitting up to find things that could threaten Cyrus into talking. We make it clear that she never had any intention of firing the gun. Is that so? It was after she had her conversation with Cyrus in the morning. A morning group of Cannon Forte, Ashley, and myself paired off to investigate the third floor for an escape route. After some time, Missy met up with me and Ashley outside the garage to talk about Cyrus's weird behavior. It was then that she discussed with Ashley the idea of threatening Cyrus to talk. That was just before the shots began. Let me reread through this because I was kind of zoning out for a second. I had a conversation. Like, then Cyrus and talking, but she made it clear that she never had any intention of firing the gun. See what painted. Yeah, it's just kind of taking her word for it, though. After some time, Ashley goes to the garage to talk about Cyrus's weird behavior. It was when to discuss Ashley the idea of threatening Cyrus. I just realized why is the garage on the third floor? Why did I never question that before? <laughs> then it's clear that she used the opportunity to act alone and retrieve the gun herself to shoot Cyrus. How would bringing, up, bringing that up lift suspicion from Missy? If anything, it's more damning. Ah! Hey! Oh, pop off, King! That's my cue. Just wait a minute, please. What I don't understand is this. Why would Missy kill Cyrus if she didn't get the information she wanted? You said I was getting overshadowed, Weeby, so now I'm cutting in. Oh man, that looks so good. I can only assume the following for her case. She made an attempt to have a civil conversation with Cyrus, only to walk away empty-handed. The motivation is lost, and there shouldn't be any reason to threaten him further in the case. Uh, sure. Make something up in her defense, whatever. I can't doubt Missy now. She was the one who made the bold move of bringing the gun to our attention. Now I have to trust that she didn't do it. She didn't do anything wrong her whole life. Forte is serving. We. We love that for you, Farte. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Don't cancel me. The Farte nickname is pretty funny. <laughs> only assume the following for the case. She made an attempt to have a civil conversation with Cyrus. Only walk away empty-handy. Well, we should lost. There shouldn't be any reason to threaten him in any further case. I can only assume. So he's assuming that, yeah, she didn't get any uh, good information. And then why would she kill him? Okay, can you tell Missy now? I have to trust she did do anything fucking wrong in her whole entire life. Do, 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 do. There's no telling what transpired between Missy and Cyrus. Seeing all of us witnessed her contentious interaction with him in the Jazz Club, it might take some time to get Lyle on the other side. Do, 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 do. Missy could be lying about not getting information, just like how she's withholding her alibi. Give it up! Why should we be protecting the culprit? Missy is the only... is the only... is the only with actions of glaring noteworthy suspicion. And if you can disprove it, then by all means. This could be part of her plan to lead us in circles during the discussion with her lofty admissions. Holy shit, Lyle. <laughs> There's no telling what transpired between Missy and Cyrus. Seeing as all of us witnessed her contentious interaction with him in the jazz club, it might take some 
were to get Lyle on the other side. They're saying that there's no proof, so maybe the first one that he said? Why are we, why should we be protecting the culprit? We don't have any proof that, and we can't really, okay. This is the only one that actually is glaring at where they suspicion. If you can disprove it, then by all means, we have no proof. I think I'm gonna do the first one, maybe. Hopefully that's right. I don't think I did very good the last trial, so. <laughs> I'm kinda nervous. Okay, okay, protecting. God damn it! <laughs> oh, fuck off! That's nonsense! God, Weeby, you're so fucking stupid! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hang on a minute. We need to discuss every aspect of this case before jumping to any conclusions. I believe there is something in the crime scene that may clearly clear Missy of suspicion. Then out with it! Oh, is there any evidence that can prove Missy's innocence? Those were just the kiosk, the gun. I don't know, man. Maybe I am just born stupid. I feel like I'm just, maybe I'm just so used to the Danganronpa way with like the truth bolts and stuff, like looking over all that stuff again. I was like, anything that would... I was like, I don't think the gun, would the gun disprove her in a sense? I'm trying to think, would she have time to have gotten it? I don't know how the blowtorch would have disproved it, honestly. Huh. I'm not totally sure. In the kiosk, I'm not really sure how that would be evident. I think maybe they're saying, like, that she wouldn't have had time to get the gun? Maybe? But maybe the blowtorch, too? I don't fucking know. Miss doesn't seem to have any connection. Okay, whatever. Need he says. Okay, gun. Okay, got it. I just should have gone with my first instinct. It's the only thing I can think of, but I need to spin this into an argument somehow. I gotta spin this to protect the culprit. I mean, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Although this has been noted several times, the gun puts Missy in a dangerous situation. There's something strange about the gun. Oh, maybe that's covered in blood? I mean, she could have wiped it off, though. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Lyle say, there's something I want you to recall for me. Before discovering the body, you two ran into Missy in the third floor main hall, correct? Um, yeah, that was right before he helped you out of the art gallery. If that's the case, I want to ask, did you see blood on her hands? Oh, okay, so that's what it was. Blood on her hands. Blood on her hands? Nothing of the sort! Did you, you, so you didn't see blood stuck to her hands, but there was blood stuck to the handle of the gun. If, if Missy really did kill Cyrus by shooting him, why didn't she have blood stuck to her hands when you saw her? You wouldn't be able to forget seeing something shocking like blood-stained hands. Okay. Do do. I guess in that case she wouldn't have had time to uh, get the uh, get the blood off her hands. I know, right? I was like, I need show by here again, dude. I miss him so much. Um, simple answer. Missy could have washed her hands. When Say and I approached the third floor, I saw Missy exit one of the personal rooms. Oh, she got into one of the personal rooms? She refuses to share her alibi because she must have been plotting the crime with an accomplice on the third floor. That's why she is acting so fishy when Lyle and I ran into her. She is such a Lyle stand, dude. Huh? I, I thought I heard something like that outside of the garage doors. Oh yeah, that conversation. I heard parts of a conversation just before I called for help. Now that I think about it, I think I can figure out who was speaking at the time. Cause, um... She was this your alibi because she must have been plotting the crime with the accomplice in the third floor. They ran into her. So wait, was it Missy that actually heard outside? I just assumed it was Lyle and Say. I know Lyle was definitely one of them. I still kind of think it was Say because Say was the first person I saw when I went out. Lyle, you must have been... Lyle, you must be a raving madman if you think you can run around the building alone. Oh, no, I guess that was Missy then, yeah. That makes sense, yeah. I kind of I couldn't remember how confrontational the other voice was. I'm not doing anything suspicious. I'm doing everything I can to get us out of here. Unlike you. And what were you doing poking around in one of the third floor personal rooms anyways? How'd you even get in there? Okay, yeah. That's none of your business, man. Echo really is the ultimate memory. So you heard that. I didn't, I didn't remember any of that, dude. I just remembered Lyle being all crazy. Yeah, Sam and I caught Missy in the act. She was poking around in one of the third floor personal rooms. I thought those were all uh, locked. And how do you suppose she entered the room? She entered the room using the resident's bracelet. Resident's bracelet? Oh, How else would she have gotten it? The door was still intact, so it's not like Missy broke it down. The resident's room bracelet. How could she have acquired such a thing, for real? I can only assume whatever Missy and Cyrus talked about earlier might have to do with the fact that she acquired something couldn't, that couldn't possibly belong to her. 
In fact, the idea alone of her entering someone else's room is cause for concern. That's true. How did she enter someone else's room? I feel like Say was just like a really hardcore like Lyle art shipper because she just stands Lyle so much. <laughs> Everything she says, she's like, that's so true. Lyle, pop off, King. The mechanism for the room entry lies in our personally assigned bracelets. Similar to how the bracelets grant access to the kiosk functions. The doors must default to being locked and only unlock when they're nearby with the corresponding bracelet. There are the bracelets on our person can unlock doors that don't match. So Missy entering a room that is not hers implies she gained access through alternative means. What alternative means? What else? She was witness speaking to the other only the only other student here that has been revealed to be associated with the killing game, Cyrus. Uh. You are getting more and more sussy by the second, girl. Fine, I'll yield. But only this once. Cyrus offered me the bracelet of a student. I am... Oh, yeah, the other person that um, was mentioned was uh, somebody that she was close to, right? I kind of forgot about that part. I was closely acquainted with. Out of morbid curiosity, I was told to visit her room. Oh, no. And then I saw her corpse. Thank you very much. And I was traumatized. Missy withdrew a small rose gold bracelet, similar to the ones we all- Oh, it's still rose gold? Okay, maybe she isn't dead then. So yes, not only do I have the bracelet on my person, but I do have a bracelet that does not belong to me. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. As for what I discovered in the room. Uh oh, uh oh, oh. Well, that's as- maybe, maybe she is dead then, aww. Well, that's as much as I'd like to say. And that's more than enough. There we have it. That explains how she gained entry into the room, as well as lists a reason for her to retaliate against Cyrus. If that doesn't pin Missy down for a motive, then I don't know what will. Okay, okay. This place that she gained into the room, as well as this reason. So you need to have a bracelet. Long me, that's what I discovered in the room. It's like, I guess uh, just because he gave her the bracelet, that's why he thinks he, she wants to kill him. Heck, she had such a thing this whole time. How was I supposed to defend something like that? Jeez, <laughs> Missy, you're making it so hard to defend you. <laughs> so much evidence is stacked against Missy. Despite the overwhelming number of incriminating facts about her, Missy remained unflinching. Ugh, what a fucking girl boss. It's like she's just waiting. Waiting for what? For what? <laughs> Tell the- I see her whispering. Tell the Mecco. Tell the Mecco. Tell the Mecco! <laughs> I feel it! I feel it popping out of my chest! For us to act on her behalf? Out of... Trust! Oh, she was really wanting us to trust her. I was trying to wonder if she's, like, more connected to the preservation project or, like, the origin of this game. This all seems like some kind of test, like, for us to trust her. It just seems so extra if she's just, like, a normal participant, you know what I mean? I guess we'll see. Remember... I ought to use the gun to threaten him into talking. Make no mistake, I have absolutely no intention of firing it, but Cyrus doesn't need to know that. If Missy's being with being withholding about her alibi, then there must be a reason behind it. I'll have to try to work with it rather than against it. Oh my god, I have to become a Missy apologist. I have to trust Missy's intentions. Therefore, I should just try to construct an argument that doesn't even involve her. Is there another angle I can approach this by? Before we learned of her activity in the room, we were in the middle of disputing the bloodstained gun. Oh man, Lyle has been aggressively utilizing the connection between Missy and the gun for his argument. But let's say we take her out. <laughs> I feel like Echo just seems so like Delulu, honestly. Like, like, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure Missy didn't do it, but there's just so much evidence stacked against her. It's just funny that Echo's being like, maybe if I just pretend like Missy doesn't exist, there's no way she could have done this. Oh my god, slay. Perfect. It'd be kind of funny if, um, <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of hard for me to trust my mods, too, because they told me this was the good path, but I'm like... What if this isn't the good path? Because they've lied to me before about stuff, you know? Like, what if Missy... What if Missy really did do this? And I'm just, like, simping for her and, like, defending her so hard. And at the end, she's just like, ah, Get wrecked, Echo! <laughs> That'd be kind of hilarious, honestly. But let's say we take her out of the picture and say she never came in co into contact with the gun. We can tackle the argument from a different side. With the gun solely in question, we can ask, 
Who really handled the gun? Who handled the gun? Fine, why don't we entertain the thought? Given the bloodstained handle of the gun, whoever held the gun must have stained their hands in the process. There can only be two people who handled it. Cyrus and Ashley. Yeah, the, the blood on their hands. I was like, that's what really makes me think about, like, uh, honestly, the fact that, um, whatchamacallit, actually might have done this, honestly. Oh, thank you. Big chunk of transcolored Bridget. My favorite moment so far definitely has to be the scene when Cyrus looked at Echo and said, you truly are the, <laughs> you truly are the Danganronpa laughs and died. Oh my god, bestie. I was literally shaking and crying and screaming when that happened. It was so sad. So sad. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah, you tricked me too, Epson, with Cat in the Box. I almost forgot about that. Literally, I cannot trust you, Clover, or Jeff. You've all tricked me before. I mean, I kind of like it, honestly, because it keeps me on my toes, but you know. <laughs> Cyrus and Ashley. Ugh. So there we have it. Echo, do you think Ashley is capable of killing? Uh, what? No way, Ash would never. She's the best girl. After all, I'm certain she knows the dangers. Oh God, I was giving I was giving Echo the emo voice for a second. After all, I'm sure she knows the dangers of killing someone. Her own life would be on the line. So what? This is the only explanation possible if we take your positions of Missy's innocence into consideration. If Ashley's life were threatened, don't you think she would retaliate? Anyone would fight back. Fight or flight, Echo. There were clear signs of struggle in the smoke lounge. After all, th th that can't be. Besides, you confirmed it yourself. We recognize that everyone has an alibi. Yeah, besides Ashley. And we've been neglecting talking about Ashley since she's unconscious. Wait, wait, wait. Hold, hold on a second now. <laughs> hold on a second. So if you really want to stand by Missy, if you really want to be a Missy simp, you can't be an Ashley simp, Echo. It doesn't fucking work like that. If you really want to stand by Missy being trustworthy, then you have to realize there must be someone else within their group that killed him. No, Ash, Ash, and she doesn't have a motive either. Yes, she fucking does. Echo, think about it. Throw away your relation to Ashley and think logically. Just, I feel like Lyle's just like, you have to lose your girlfriend because I lost my boyfriend. We can be in this together. Just because she isn't here to defend herself doesn't mean she's immune to being suspected. No. No, 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 no. Echo about to enter their Delulu era. My head was pounding. I began to feel dizzy. And if Ashley has the rope when we were together, if Ashley had the rope when we were together on the second floor and there was no rope to be found at the crime scene, she must have e Obviously, she did that, man. Ob I mean, like, I think it could have just been to protect Echo, but, like, a little sussy. It was a little sussy, you know? It's a little weird. <laughs> a little suspicious as well. She must have found the double doors of the art gallery. Say confirm that the rope kept me locked in the gallery. Um, Ashley yelled out and left to confront something. Thing. There was gunshots though before Ashley went, so we don't. Yeah, I guess like figuring out what gunshot killed Cyrus will be like the deciding factor. It seems like. If you think about whoever handled the gun, it can only be those two people. No, I mean I guess Cyrus could have gotten the gun. For what was he shooting at? He was just shooting. A lot of I guess he could have just been shooting like the wine bottles or whatever, since those were broken. Maybe, maybe he was just planning on setting the whole mansion on fire. No. No! I don't want to think about it, please! Stop this! I want to stay to Lulu! Aw, oh, poor Echo. They don't want to discuss Ashley's involvement due to their close relation, but... Oh! Hey, am I playing as Lyle now? Oh my god, Protex Switch? But there might be something important that we're missing. Something important that Echo only knows. Echo is guarding something. But they've painted themselves in a corner. There's no clean way to get out of this mess. Ah, oh, fuck. Yikes, wow! <laughs> this is awkward. Echo, you get over there! You get over there, homie! Oh no! Oh, ooh! Echo looks pissed! It's so hard. It's kind of hard to take Echo too seriously though when they're all pissed because they're so small. <laughs> You're just so tiny and cute, Echo. Who Angie? Who's just so angry? when I pat, pat through the little head. I can't accept this. Oh, shit. 
If Echo refuses to understand that Ashley is the only person who is capable... Maybe I'm playing as Missy, actually, now. Maybe? If Echo refuses to understand that Ashley is the only person who is capable of handling the gun and shooting Cyrus, then I'll have to lay out all the pieces for them. Oh! Oh my god! Yes! Yes! I'm playing as the emo boy! Oh my god! I get to play as the emo boy. Yeah, playing as the emo boy. Hump puzzle pieces as always. Echo, allow me to discuss the facts. Oh, I'm so excited! All of them, even the unsavory trifling matters will come to play. Just like when you were the one who noticed Art slipped up. You convicted my boyfriend, now I'm gonna convict your girlfriend. Get wrecked, Echo. If you insist on protecting Missy, there's one person whose actions remain to be scrutinized. And Ashley is the culprit in question. Do I have any objections? I apologize, Echo, but this topic cannot be ignored. Yeah, this is pretty important. The rest of the class remains silent. Oh, no! Oh, my God! Am I about to start playing as Lyle the rest of the game and Echo's gonna want to kill me? The rest of the class remains silent as Echo glared a hole in... The re oh, yeah, I gotta do that emo voice. The rest of the class remains silent as Echo glared a hole in me. Ugh. Ugh. Aw, who's so angry? Again, let us begin with the weapon, the mysterious gun that came from Missy's possession. Seeing as the gun handle was stained with blood, we can surmise only two people were in contact with it. As we found in the crime scene, both Cyrus and Ashley had bloodstains all over their hands, which naturally leads us to believe one of them fired the gun. I can concur with that assumption. As for how it came to appear on the third floor, just before the gunfire occurred, Ashley and I hatched a plan to confront Cyrus. I was to use the gun as a show of threat. However, when I went to retrieve it from the foyer, it was missing before I had gotten to it. Okay. It's, Im it's, it's impossible. Cyrus got to it before you. It's... Is it possible? Oh, wait. Did he say it's impossible or it is... It's plausible. Okay, I read it wrong. Oh, Lyle has a little hoge. How do we not know? Oh my god, the power of the hoge, man. How are we so blind? You knew, though, Cannon, because you took a picture. You took a picture when he was being cringe. You are like, oh, damn, he has a hoge, too. That's cray-cray. Thank you for the dono. Regretfully so. Then, at the speculated time in question, Cyrus is the only possible suspect to have initially retrieved the gun since Echo, Ashley, Cannon, and Forte were elsewhere. Now, I believe we can all agree. Based on the sounds heard, there were four shots fired in total. In that case, we need to determine the order and relevance of each shot. Ken and I boarded ourselves in the garage on the third floor after the first shot. The ring out from the smoke lounge. We sheltered ourselves inside there on out. And Lyle and I partnered up after the second, but we were all the way on the first floor. So we can determine these first two shots were not the life-threatening ones. Okay, okay. Since no one was with in the vicinity of the smoke lounge and there were two gunshots in the wall. Okay, yeah, so... I know, did they actually say where it was in the wall? I don't think they ever said that. I was kind of assuming he just shot the alcohol, you know? However, between the second and third shot is where Ashley's alibi becomes problematic. Ah! Oh, oh no, Echo! <laughs> no, you're wrong! No, Echo! Don't do it! There's no... There is nothing wrong with Ashley's alibi. I can verify for her. My queen would never do this. I was with Ashley from when we went to the second floor to the climbing center, as well as when she went to the third... <laughs> Come on, Echo, you know that she went off on her own and fucking locked your ass in the art gallery. The art-proof art gallery. <laughs> I never let her out my side the entire day. We were traveling up and down the stairs. <laughs> oh my god, you are so Delulu. Damn, Echo's thoughts and judgments are being clouded by the relation to Ashley. What a simp. I have to focus somewhere in Echo's statement and lay the facts straight so they can understand. I think it's the last one, right? I can... Ashley's done nothing wrong in her whole entire life. What clue proves Echo and Ashley were separated? Oh yeah, the rope, right? Or Lyle and Say's account? I mean, that too, I think. Well, I feel like either of those could maybe disprove it, right? Because they found... Because they literally found Echo uh, by themselves. Missy's whereabout doesn't have anything to do... Oh, wait, what? Oh, whatever. Okay, rope. Yeah! Oh, hell yeah! Argue! You're missing a piece of the art! I fucking love these, dude! They're so cool! But didn't you say Ashley shoved you in the art gallery just before you heard the third shot? The rope binding the door has proved there was a moment that you two were separated from the site. It's possible she entered the smoke lounge in that time, for God. 
Echo's gonna lose it when they execute. When they, oh my god, when they execute Ashley, dude. Is it possible that she entered the smoke lounge in that time frame? Ah, Gurk. In that case, the fourth and final shot ought to be the one that killed Cyrus. The only person left without an alibi, given Echo's testimony of the culprit's last movements. The only person left is Ashley. Oh my god! Oh my god, Echo, you're so delulu! You gotta stop! No! No! Ash! Ash yelled Missy's name! How does that have to do with anything? It's possible, Miss. <laughs> I no longer. Friendship with Missy ended. Ashley is now my. Is that my best friend again? Fuck Missy! She totally did this! It's possible Missy was in the vicinity of the smoke lounge. After all, Missy's actions on the third floor are still strange. We can't ignore that. Oh my god, literally, Echo was the one who was like, what if we just ignore Missy's actions? <laughs> Damn. Echo is struggling, trying to protect Ashley in their Delulu era for sure. What do we do? If there is anything you can think of that will cut through Echo's lies, tell them that the truth is out there. Oh man. Okay, Ashley yelled Missy's name. Oh man. Oh, thank you, Koopa Echo, please. I know, it's getting sad, dude, having to see. Having to see Echo go through all this. It's getting it's getting real sad. Thank you for the dono. Thank you, Vic Chuck of Transcolored Bridget. Imagine if while playing as Lyle, he just thinks, man, I hope everyone believes my lie about Ashley. <laughs> Ashley being the murderer and don't realize I killed him. That would, this is such a slay moment. <laughs> That'd be so funny, honestly. Oh my gosh, I would love that. I'm trying to think. What was the log actually? What did he just say? If there's anything you can think of that cut through is just really try to protect Ashley. If there's anything you can think of that will cut through Echo's lies, tell them that the truth is out there. Say the smoke lounge. Ash yelled Missy's name. Missy was in the vicinity of the smoke lounge. I feel like it was literally, I feel like it might be the third one, but I can't tell. Ash did yell Missy's name. Oh yeah, I think I do remember that actually. Um. I kind of want to say the third one, just because I feel like Echo is being really hypocritical, but I don't know if that's actually what I'm supposed to do. Man, I kind of suck at these trials in this game. <laughs> oh my god. The smoke lounge. After all, Missy's action. The third floor is strange. We can't ignore that. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I suck so bad at this trial, dude. I do remember doing the name, though. I was like, wouldn't that mean that it's not the one? Um, hmm. I feel like the other thing could be because she was in the, um, whatchamacallit, the room or whatever. Actually, maybe it's this one. Is there anything that proves Missy was not in the vicinity of the smoke lounge? Oh, yeah, yeah, because they saw. Oh, wait just a minute. Oh, I love these little, oh, I love this, dude. This art is so nice. Wait, that's not possible, remember? Lila and I saw Missy exiting a personal room. I just couldn't remember since it said vicinity. I just like overanalyze stuff so much, honestly. Like, um, whatchamacallit. Um, cause it just cause it said vicinity, I was like, well, how close are the personal rooms to the smoke lounge? I don't exactly remember, so I'm like, well, maybe. She had just come out of the personal room when we arrived and only then began to act suspiciously. I suppose they ought to surrender, surrender holding my tongue. I was like, I don't know what you're even, like why you would even need to hold your tongue anymore. Yes, I was withholding my alibi earlier, but the question of secrecy has passed now. That my whereabouts have come into direct question. Cause yeah, I was like, I'm pretty sure that was why she didn't want to say anything before. Cause of her friend. I kept my alibi secret to prevent beginning today's deliberation with immediate worry and disillusionment. Oh, I guess that too. I confess Cyrus bestowed upon me a terrible gift, this bracelet, and allowed me access to a room that was not mine, a room belonging to a close personal acquaintance, one, ho one I hold in my thoughts often. I enter the room upon Cyrus's taunting instruction that I see for myself what became of- Oh, man. I discovered nothing, save for my tears becoming reality. My alibi is simply as follows. I did not leave the third floor personal room I gained entry to after I heard the second gunshot. Therefore, I did not see Ashley on the third floor at all. But didn't... But didn't... Huh, but didn't Ashley actually call her name? Unless she was trying to frame Missy? Ashley the mastermind. 
It took long enough to get that testimony out of you, Jesus. Oh my god, you guys say slay instead of say? Oh my god. Oh no, guys, don't do it. Don't do it. She might do it. I mean, I don't know. I feel like say might, <laughs> might be my new Setsuka. I like keep thinking she's suspicious. But in that case, Ashley really is the only possible person to have encountered Cyrus in the Smook Lounge. Therefore, we can assume from the appearances of the room that Ashley and Cyrus fought in the duration of the time between the third and fourth shot. Ah! Oh my god, Echo, this is embarrassing, honey. This is so embarrassing, sweetie. You gotta stop. You gotta stop. The smoke lounge was in a state of disarray, but the casino wasn't. Ashley's body was found at the casino, so it's possible she never even set foot in the smoke lounge. Homie. <laughs> Homie, come on. Come on, you gotta get out of your Delulu era. No, there's no visible evidence of the two fighting, literally the blood on her hands. The two being separated means they didn't get into strife. Oh my god, this is getting really sad. Echo needs to see the truth. Turning a blind eye is doing more harm than good. There's a clear answer, we just need to bring the truth to light. Okay, I think it's the blood on the hands. There's so many options, dude. Went from like giving me only one option for one of them to like five. Okay, smoke lounge, but the casino wasn't. Ashley's body found the casino. She ever been set foot in the smoke lounge? There's no, I think it's the visible evidence because uh, there is the blood on her hands, right? So it means they didn't get into strife. To Lulu era echo, you gotta stop this shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Echo knows very well there was clear signs of strife. Blowtorch, gunshots, glass. Oh yeah, glass? <laughs> the tactic- Oh my god, everybody ganging up on Echo! <laughs> you're wrong, Echo! God damn, poor Echo, dude. Oh my god. Echo, your judgment is clouded and I think you know that. Man, we're all ganging up on him at this point. Everybody's literally done the refute sprite to them. Oh man, there was glass and blood littered near, near Ashley's unconscious body in the casino that could have only come from one place. The casino itself was spotless, free sign, free, so free of signs of struggle. The detri is leading through the smoke lounge to the casino, however, tells a different story. With all these facts in mind, let's review. We discovered everyone's paired alibis, Missy's room activity, and Echo's and Shrimp. Entrainment in the art gallery in relation to the gunshot timeline frees them from suspicion. It's strike a pose. <laughs> oh my god, I love that. That's a new one. I gotta add that. Oh, sorry. Did I actually say? Did I actually say him? My bad. The, we also determined Cyrus was the one who initially wielding the gun, and that Ashley had plans to counter Cyrus's scheme. I'm bad at speaking sometimes. Y'all know me, I'm saying blat room instead of bathroom, honestly. My bad though, I kind of like realized that once I said it, I was like, oh wait, did I fuck up there? I think I did. In the small period during which Ashley and Echo were separated, a struggle occurred between Ashley and Cyrus in the smoke lounge, just across the hall. Oh my god, Miss Slay, not Miss Slay in the chat. Oh my god. You guys are really, oh my god. You guys are like, Guys are giving so many slay flags to all these characters. <laughs> First literal slay and now miss slay. I'm dead. Curb between Ashley and Cyrus in the smoke lounge just across the hall, resulting in the disorderly state of the room. And yet at the end of it, one person came out alive and the other dead. Echo, you have to see that the culprit behind this is plain as day. What? No. Poor Echo, dude. Ah! Face the facts! You gotta leave your Delulu arrow, Eka. There's only one possible answer. I... I... I refuse. Oh, shit! I don't ever recall Ash considering Cyrus a th <laughs> They're just gonna make up shit now. <laughs> oh my god, Echo. I even recall Ash considering Cyrus a threat. So what motive would she have had to kill him anyways? Um... Echo, why are you just straight up lying? I was literally there with you. That could be that couldn't be further from the truth. I was there with her when Ash was like, yeah, girly, let's slay. High five. Ugh. There must be someone, anyone else involved. Anyone but her. Oh, Echo, I am so sorry, but I 
think is over. I'm surprised they haven't mentioned like the idea of a not Ashley, uh, Cyrus shooting himself yet. That's the only like rebuttal I feel like Echo hasn't tried yet. Oh, thank you, Spanish Fly. Not gonna lie, having literally everybody interject against Echo one after the other is one of my favorite things. It's so well done. I know, yeah, I love it. It makes me feel so bad for Echo because it does kind of feel like they're like ganging up on them, but at the same time, they do need to be they do need to be snapped out. <laughs> <laughs> They're the Lulu era. Hardcore. Anyone but her. Oh my god, Echo. I am so, so sorry, sweaty, but I think it's over. Jeez. Echo, you're more the Lulu than me last trial. You're a really stubborn one. Don't you understand the danger we're in? Please, Echo, I understand that this is a painful realization for you. But we are just as mortified that such a dreadful thing has happened. It's awful, but there has to be a reason, right? No, there is a reason. I don't get it. Hopefully she'll come in and explain herself. I just, I don't get it. Fucking zero, honestly. I could see, like, honestly, Ashley's still, like, <laughs> still, like, unconscious and, like, half dead. And Zero's like, oh, congrats, y'all got it. Time to execute her while she's still half dead. Uh, slay. <laughs> oh, that's me. Thank you, the fallen redditor. It's... It's Bully Short People Day, Echo. Oh my god. Dude, there's so many freaking Bully Short People Days. Because every time I log it, not every time, but it feels like a lot of times when I log into my Discord, you're like, eh, weeby, it's throw a short person at a wall day or some crazy shit like that. Poor Echo. I feel you. I feel you. I feel you, my liege. Because I always get bullied for being short, too. I just don't get it. Why? Oh my, did you guys say Ashley? <laughs> No, not the Ashley. Jesus. You guys are so extra this chapter. You guys have been so extra this stream. I can't. Why would Ash endanger herself like this? Throwing herself away like this? It seems so careless. Oh, is that it? Based on actually suggested actions, it's hard to believe that she was negligent about facing danger, but... Uh, meh. Why would Ash endanger herself like this? Throwing her life away like this? It seems so careless. It was for you. There's something else that needs to be brought to Echo's attention. Oh, you know, we never talked about the kiosk message either. Echo's attention. The kiosk message? Did we even... Oh, wait, there was a kiosk message? I was like, I know the kiosk was broken, but I know there was a message. Allow me to widen your depth of field. I was gonna say, I was like, I don't think Cannon's got one yet. I believe I have the answer. Cyrus sent a message that said, Ashley slayed me, <laughs> rip, with a little X, X out face. You don't wanna tell us at the beginning of the trial, Cannon? I just like to watch you guys struggle, okay? I just live for the cringe. I got so many good photos for my cringe comp. You guys have no idea. I believe I have the answer. Or rather, we all do. It seems Echo didn't seem see the kiosk message. Kiosk message? <laughs> Can slay. <laughs> oh my god. Remember the digital kiosk can deliver dictated messages across other kiosks in the building. That's correct. Ken and I saw the message as, as we waited out the gunfire in the garage. This message was dictated from the smoke lounge sometime after the third slot was fi shot was fired. I recall- I recall it. Read. <laughs> what? What? What is this thing? <laughs> what? <laughs> Y'all don't want to tell me that? Y'all don't want to say that? Jesus. Oh my god. This message was directed from- This message was directed from the smoke lounge sometime after the third show. <laughs> I recall a red kill echo. Oh, yeah, that's right. What the fuck? No one fucking asked you, Zero, you homophobic asshole. I remember now. Lila and I saw the second floor kiosk light up while we were running by. Nobody wanted to tell Echo about this. Nobody. Come on. You heard the gunfire too, right? So far, there have been three shots. But where the hell did the gun come from? I mean, like... I think it would have been Cyrus who wrote that message, right? Both of them had blood on their hands, though, so it's kind of hard to tell who would have been the one to write it. I just can't think of a reason as to why Ashley would write that message. So far, there have been three shots. Where the hell did the gun come from? How, how should I know? 
How should I know? Hey, slow down. I can't keep up. We can't take our sweet time in a moment like this. We... Oh, Lyle, look. The kiosk is displaying a message. Oh, it is from Cyrus. The smoke lounge. That's on the third floor. Oh, fuck. Holy shit. Echo, what the fuck, homie? I never saw such a thing, but it's awfully damning in what it is implying. I concur. It's quite a pointed message. In that case, we can assume that... That Echo might have actually been Cyrus's intended target. Okay. Shit, Echo, Echo sussy. Echo, Ashley didn't endanger herself out of carelessness, but for your sake. I had a feeling if she was going to kill, it was going to be for Echo. You know what I mean? To protect them. Because she just loves Echo so much. She threw herself into the fray to keep yours safe. Then, there should be little doubt the fourth shot must have been the one to kill Cyrus. The shots fired after the Ashley left Echo's side. Okay. I guess Ashley probably knocked over the kiosk too, so nobody nobody else could see it. Well, I mean, it's not like it prevents people from seeing the message, but maybe she thought it was a better idea to do that, you know? I I don't understand why for me I'm I'm not like the rest of you. I'm no ultimate student, but you're the ultimate memory or something. I can't survive the strife between ultimates. I don't have skills or talents to offer the world. Poor Echo, I feel like they're gonna offer themselves at this point. Oh no, I had a feeling it should have been me. At the opposite end of the gun. Oh Echo, no. Are you slay Joe? <laughs> oh my God. Uh, pardon me. Oh, hey, she finally awake. The voice of Eve interrupted the looming courtroom silence. I have an update on Ashley's help. <laughs> She's dead. Uh oh, never, never mind. She is steadily recovering at the moment. Too bad she's about to get executed. Tee she, she, she's okay? Uh, not for long. However, I discovered traces of Complex 53. Oh, in her system. She break her rules? Cyrus do that somehow? Complex 33 is not, not the very substance Zero threatened time and time again to release. Yes, I examined the bracelet in her possession, and it appears the glass file has been shattered, allowing the liquid state to enter her system via absorption through skin. Shattered? It's plausible that it broke from some kind of impact from Cyrus and Ashley's fight. Wait a minute. The bracelet in her possession? Not her own bracelet. Does she have Cyrus? I was like, I didn't really remember seeing Cyrus's bracelet on his body, to be honest. It is not. Oh. Oh, she got... Oh, well, now it's all coming together. So Cyrus gave her the bracelet of Silva, and that's when she lost it. Oh, man, especially if Cyrus is being all evil and shit. Like, yeah, Silva's dead. <laughs> you know, like, I could see her losing it. She seemed very unstable. It is not. She had in possession the bracelet of Silva Prower. Ashley's bracelet is still intact. If she had Silva's bracelet, then there's no doubt. She had a clear motive. It is possible she was goaded on by Cyrus with the bracelet of an important figure, just as Missy was. No, wait, Cyrus was probably... Cyrus probably just broke the vial himself and administered the... Oh my god, Echo, you're so delulu! You gotta stop, man. Oh, you got them. God, you gotta stop! No way, Cyrus probably just took the vial himself and administered the liquid to Ash during their fight. Or Zero could have unleashed it to harm her. Zero's killing game announcement always takes talks about toxic gases, so so it's plausible he's the one behind it. D damn it, Echo! How many times do we? Have I feel like it reminds me of that scene from SpongeBob where they're like, "How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? <laughs> this old Echo, God! How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, Echo? Jesus! Damn it, Echo! I'm tired of this. You still refuse to accept the reality of this case, Zero." Can't have done it, and I'll tell you why it's simple. Not even, simply not even up for debate. I was testing the rules earlier this morning, right? Rule 4 states that breaking major assets is strictly prohibited, but nothing happened all day. It was only until the beginning of the very trial I suffered the effect of Zero's sonic weapon where he played, where he blasted Mega, Mega Trainer music at me for breaking the rules. If he waited 
If he waited until we entered the trial grounds to punish me, why would he unleash the Complex 53 toxin if there weren't any signs of Ashley breaking the rules? Ah! Zero. Did you or did you not release Complex 53 into Ashley? Yeah, as you can literally just confirm it with literally zero. What? I'm not the arbiter of this game. I like this trial a lot better so far, huh? Answer! Nope, didn't do it. No, this, this can't be. You still don't get it. We've been running around in circles in this trial because you've vehemently... <laughs> Guys, speaking's hard. Vehemently refuse to face the truth. Don't you have any value in your life? Ah, hey! They said, they said the thing. Oh my god, he said the thing. Your lapse. Uh, get it? Get it? Echoes the title of the game. Your lapse in judgment is what's going to get us all killed. Oh! In true protag fashion, Lyle. Slay. Lyle, have some sympathy, won't you? But I have to agree with you. Echo, please. The trial is difficult enough to participate in, but it's necessary to determine the culprit for our safety. Allow yourself to be selfish and act on self-preservation instead of on the well-being of others. Don't concern yourself with protecting me. Don't concern yourself with speaking for Ashley. You'll only end up hurting yourself if we judge this case incorrectly. Just follow the truth and you can protect yourself. I know we're asking a lot since the truth isn't what you want to hear, but please. Ah, oh, thank you so much, Kago Cat, for the dono. Appreciate you. Hope you're doing well. Ugh. Your lapse in empathy is going to be your downfall, Lyle. Protect myself. I feel like Echo just has such a low sense of self-esteem, you know? What did that mean? I thought I had to protect Missy on behalf of trust. She placed her faith in us, after all. And I had to protect Ashley because she's my closest friend, but... Myself? I felt stuck. I know Missy didn't kill Cyrus. I... I, I just know it. And it was impossible for anyone else to have killed him, so... The answer's clear as day. Aw, poor Echo. I feel so bad for them. I just didn't want to accept it. But by doing so, I was drawing out this trial for my own self-indulgence and dragging everyone else through this hell. Aw. It's okay, buddy. I feel you. I've forgotten the reason we're here to save ourselves. And I've purposely suppressed the fact that there was something on the crime scene that solidified Ashley's involvement. Oh. Uh, the hands? Oh, uh, this hand in particular, it seems like, too. Uh, it's okay, Echo. Oh, we switch back to them now. I think you, Vic Chuck, a transcolored Bridget. He said the thing, he said the title. Whee! Roll the credits. Roll the credits. We did it, gang. Thanks for the dono. It's all the damning thing. Oh, uh, I was wondering why when I clicked on that during the investigation, Echo was just like, that, 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 moving on. <laughs> okay, anyways, moving on. I'm not going to be talking about this anymore. <laughs> I saw the... Damning thing, I chose to forget it. Yeah, the weapon was undeniable. The culprit had a motive. The struggle showed traces of her involvement. The person who fought Cyrus and eventually won is... Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking lie. No way to beat a Lulu anymore, Echo, huh? <laughs> oh, man. But I'm just gonna click on Cyrus, guys. It must have been him. Okay. Ashley Westbridge killed Cyrus Zurich. Oh man, poor Echo. Ashley. Oh, she's here too. Uh, hey besties, how's it going? Uh, not Ashley. Finally making her appearance. I'm going to take in this. I'm gonna take this lonely conversation to assume you're done discussing the case, yeah? After all, it was pretty obvious from the start. Well, whatever. This is your space anyway, so without further ado, ooh, it's voting time! Oh man, I hope, uh, I hope that we can at least kind of like talk to Ashley a little bit. I feel like that was the only thing I was disappointed with uh, last stream. I didn't feel like we get, got to talk to Lyle like that much after the trial ended. I hope we can talk to her a little bit more and kind of learn more of her scenario since she wasn't in the trial to kind of like discuss it. Or not Lyle, I mean Art. At least Art was like in the trial to like discuss his position, but 
Ashley's like, she hasn't gotten any chance to speak up for herself at all. Guilty. I was kind of half expecting her to come in and just be like, yeah, guys, I did it. You can, conv can convict me. Because, I mean, I think she really just cares about protecting Echo. I don't think she really cares about escaping. Ding, ding, ding. Yes, the culprit responsible for the murder of Cyrus is none other than the ultimate jockey, the ultimate horse girl, Ashley Westbridge. Ah, uh, she didn't get run over by horses or some shit. And almost all of you voted cor- uh, almost? <laughs> Echo, are you still being Delulu? Luckily, majority rules, so it's punishment- Well, no, 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 I was, I was playing as Echo, so I voted. It's punishment time! So was it just Ashley that didn't vote for herself then? <clears throat> Wait, what did you mean by almost all of us voted correctly? I was like, I I voted correctly. I was like, Echo's the main person I would expect to not vote correctly, you know? Oh, uh, well, I guess it's my fault for not mentioning that, that, that not voting is a big no-no. But voting should be common sense. You have a responsibility to make your voices heard. Lives are on the line. Or something, some shit like that. Missy would know. Don't rope me into this asinine argument. Think of it this way, you're voting for the lesser of two evils. Punish one person for committing a crime, or punish everyone for being ignorant. But I could see in Echo's face that they figured it out, so I suppose I'll call it a vote. Ah, uh, okay. Just saying Echo didn't vote. Aren't I just the nicest, most flexible judge ever, Hottie? Echo, you didn't vote after all that? <laughs> how many times do we have to teach you this lesson, Echo? Uh, how, how could I? Unbelievable, you're still Delulu after all this? Everyone's lives are at stake and you still have the audacity to protect the culprit? You're a hopeless case, Echo. I don't understand how you fail to recognize the weight of our actions. It does kind of feel like Lyle's arrival at this point. Like, uh, I feel like he's kind of the opposite personality of uh, Echo. At least when it comes to handling these cases. The truth was glaringly obviously obvious, yet you continue to turn away. You have no perception of consequence. How dare you refuse to give your all in order to save yourself. Uh, why are you attacking me? Stop bullying me! This thing that just happened to my best friend, it's awful. Don't you know how I feel too, Lyle? We've already lost three friends. Why does the cycle keep turning? Of course I know how you feel, but it's pointless to let things spin out like this. That's why I'm trying my best to solve this killing game. I don't need your turning. I don't need you turning your cheek away from reality. That will only make things worse. Damn it! Aw, oh, poor Echo. You got anything to say for yourself, girl? I would like to hear you say something. I guess also the other thing that makes me kind of feel like Lyle's the an like the I guess not the antagonist, but like the rival. I guess it's kind of like an antagonist. It just feels like Zero is the main antagonist, you know what I mean? But anyways, uh, Lyle being the rival is the fact that he was the one who pointed out Echo's bigness, biggest weakness, which was their lapse in judgment. In <laughs> the title. I looked over to Ashley, who recovered enough strength to join us in the courtroom. At, last the moments, at the last moments of our discussion. Ash, I don't get it. To protect me, you threw yourself into danger. I can see it too. She probably feels like she failed to protect Silva. Now she has to... Protect Echo, you know what I mean? I think she probably blames herself for Silva's death, and now she's like, I can't let Echo die, too. Um, and look where it got you! At the foot of an execution! Um, Ash, you're such an idiot! How could you do something so careless? Aww. Echo, I thought about nothing but your safety. Huh? All I've ever wanted is the safety and health of my friends, but... Look what rotten trouble I've gotten everyone into. Yeah, I think it is going to be that. First Silva and now Echo. Maybe it's better like this. Echo, you don't have to worry about me. Oh my god, Ashley, no! It's not what they want. You don't have to worry about me anymore. Thank goodness, right? If I was in that trial, you wouldn't have budged and you might have voted Missy off instead. At least you know you can trust her. What are you saying? I thought that if I could remove a threat from this horrible game, my actions would have been all worth it. But it turns out Cyrus was just asking for this. Cyrus used Silva's bracelet as a show of threat. That's the reason he had it, and Silva didn't what, and Silva didn't was because. 
Oh, yeah. Cyrus said he'd eliminated him. Isn't that right? He said the same to me when I received my additional bracelet. Damn, why was Cyrus being such a douche? Cyrus, ultimate confidant informant. New things we would soon rather forget. And he used that information to get under our, under our skin. I told you he's someone to be wary of. So Ashley essentially lost us the preservation project's mole. What if he had information that could have gotten us out? Oh, he had information, all right, but he would never tell. He was a little douche. Didn't you guys see the way he was acting this chapter? Come on. Zero's right. When I confronted him to inquire about his facade, he kept dodging my questions. He was acting so odd. And as it happens, his strange behavior went all according to plan. To Kaikaku. He was acting suspicious to invite someone into attacking him. I completely... And I completely fell for it. But I felt terrible. After, because when he collapsed, his aggressive facade faded and he laughed. He was glad. So, man, he wanted somebody to kill him. Interesting. Wanted... Was he being, like, threatened to help them? The preservation project people or something like maybe they would put the complex 53 in him if he didn't do what they said but why would he want somebody else to kill him if that's the case wouldn't he just die i can't really tell cyrus rook ultimate douche <laughs> well it does seem like he actually did have a nice i guess I, don't, I just don't understand yeah i don't understand the purpose of his aggressive facade it seems like they're saying that like his original pal um his original, you know, personality was his true one now, and then this, like, whole douche thing he put on was fake. But I just, I don't see the purpose. I don't see the purpose. And why, and why they did this. Or why he did, why he did that. Yeah, Cyrus fully intended to take someone down with him. Cyrus fired those initial two shots to draw attention. Okay, uh, this all makes sense too. If he wanted to die, then of course he would do. He would just fire the two shots to get attention. I arrived on the third floor with Echo. I ushered Echo in to the art gallery and, bounce, and bound the doors with rope from the climbing center. I think she was just doing that to protect Echo though. I confronted Cyrus in the smoke lounge and he fired right away. Oh my god! He tried to slay her! The third shot was a near miss. Bing! Jesus. Oh, whoa! Awesome! I love the CG. Cyrus, N not a step closer, Ashley. Unless you'd like to end up like your friend, Silva, that I killed my bare hands. Mm. What do you know about Silva? Oh, I know everything there is to know, like where he's buried, personal records, financial records, etc. After all, I am the ultimate con confidential informant. My job is to seek information about all the preservation project subjects. I personally saw to his removal. I personally, and you're next. Not if I have anything to say about it. <laughs> yeah, I'd act fast if I were you. Uh, uh, oopsie, I dropped the gun. It, like, kicks it to her. <laughs> oh, no, my bad. You would want to go down in flames without getting the information you want, would you? Okay, is that where the fuel's going to finally take place? Because we never even talked about it on the trial. That was kind of bothering me. How does a racing helmet end up in your room? Oh, why, but yours truly, of course. <laughs> And his personal device is a 94 Lister, Lister Storm, the very vehicle that is the garage in the garage right now. I also did that just for- Oh, girl! Okay! Cyrus threatened me with an awful trinket. And in a time limit, he prepared split gasoline and had a blowtorch ready to burn the room down if he didn't act. I fought to keep him at bay. Okay, so that's why that broke. He eventually dropped the gun. I retrieved the gun, gripping the handle fiercely, but Cyrus remained completely cool. He noticed my hesitance and silently tossed a tiny rose gold bracelet in my direction. I snatched it out of the air, turned it over in my hands to reveal the name engraved into it. Silva Prower. Damn, you know, I'm kind of understanding why she slayed now. I'm like, was she so wrong? <laughs> was she so wrong? Did she do anything wrong? I don't think so. I don't think she did anything wrong. Slay, Ashley. Ashley, you deserve that name, because you slay in both ways. Quiet. This isn't right. Why put us through this awful game for the sake of the future? I'm not an ultimate... Oh, I'm I'm not an ultimate student. Uh, Let's play a game. There's two more bullets somewhere in that chamber. Is she just trying to deny her talent again? I feel like she's always doing that. If you fire and live, I'll let you walk away scot-free. 
Your hands will be clean, and you are meant to be an ultimate student born to benefit the world. If you fire and I die, then... <laughs> she did not... Girl did not hesitate. Girlie did not hesitate for a second. Okay, Ashley. I see you. Oh my god. Of course, you know what happens. But in, but in his last moments, he lets out a chuckle and a sigh of relief. He looks relaxed. He could... He looked as calm as when he, we first met him. I was confused. Why wasn't he fighting back at all? I guess he just like touched the blood. He wasn't necessarily trying to like cover the wound or whatever. <laughs> You're a tough nut to crack, you know. What are you doing? I'm trying to save you. Oh, so that's how she got blood on her hands. Okay, that's good. That's a lot better than the theory I came up with during the investigation. I know I took a chance with that shot, but there has to be another answer. Preservation Project is a miserable organization that I contributed to. I rallied this group of ultimate students, compiled all the information I could about you all for the project. The project and their game. It's a cruel experiment, all for the sake of future. Why are you telling me this? So you won't feel guilty about killing me. But how could I not feel guilty? There could have been some other way to get you out of this mess, Cyrus. I don't understand. Why did I have to come to this? Was that like threatening his like friends and family if he like killed himself or like something maybe? Maybe it had to be somebody else who killed him? Because I thought I had immunity from the game. But when Zero called me out for my cover talent, I knew something was wrong. Why would Zero, an arbiter for the killing game, conducted by the preservation project, wish to reveal my place in the game? Something was wrong. It's it's all wrong. This whole game is all wrong. I couldn't wrap my head around a thing he was saying. I didn't dare wish to know what he was talking about, but... What's wrong? <laughs> he coughed out a small chuckle. This. I made you do a horrible thing. Yeah, I was like... Because I just... I'm trying to, like, get this idea of, like, oh, he's actually a good person, but I'm like, he just ended her life, too, by, like, you know, talking her into killing him you know what i mean so that's why i'm kind of like why did he have to go through all that uh, okay thank you big chunk of transcolored bridget don't worry echo gonna dong and rampa lap so hard <laughs> they're gonna lap so hard and save ashley <laughs> oh my god so true echo <laughs> oh thank you for the dono as time goes on bonds are made with the strangers you eventually come to call your friends i should have never involved myself with you all I couldn't meet his eyes. I knew I'd be too painful. And he might hate me for this, but it's for the best. For you and me, winning the game is nothing but smoke and mirrors. I'm sorry, but thank you for helping me escape this game. He held my hands in his own trembling grasp, weakly pushing my attempts at stopping his suffering away. Hmm. Uh. After I shot him, I knew immediately what terrible fate I found myself in. I was tethered to meet the same inn the moment I fell into his trap. I fled the scene, leaving it a mess, because I knew it would be pointless to conceal the truth. But even then, I knew the trial discussion would trace it back to my incrimination. That's why I went so far as to shatter the vial of Complex 53 and Silva's bracelet to take myself out of the- Girl, you could have left us a note or something, being like, Hey guys, I did it! Now I'm gonna go off myself. Could have left us a note, girl. Ash! Why would you do such a thing to yourself? It's awful! I know. Please don't hate me. I guess she just doesn't want to have to, like, confront us about it, but I feel like that would be a much better way of going about it. And forgive me for making such a selfish request, but all I ask is that you live and survive. I did it. Oh, God. I don't know if that's going to make Echo feel better, honestly. I did it all for you, Echo. The blood's on your hands now. <laughs> Oh, that is so sweet. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. I'm literally tearing up right now. <laughs> but too bad for you that sickly sweet sentimentalism isn't going to save you from your execution, silly. Murder is murder. Uh, what's the thing you say? Oh, there's no gray area about it, huh? No, wait. Oh, for Echo. They want to, like, sacrifice themselves, probably. There's no stopping this fray train of despair, Echo. You were among the ones who sealed her fate. After all, she literally did it all for you. 
So sit back and enjoy the show. Oh no, Ashley. Oh God, it's gonna be like a horse that kills her or something. I feel like it's gonna be really, really bad. No! Oh no, Echo. Oh, oh no, Ashley, no, not the hand grab. Ashley's hand slipped through mine. She disappeared into the black. No, not the Kaide moment, Jesus, no. Oh my God. She disappeared into the black as I collapsed over myself. All I could do to pull myself up was keep my focus squarely on Ashley as her mortified visage was projected for us to grimace upon. I tried to soak up my final moments with her, even though I knew they were- Oh, God! It's okay, Echo, you can look away! Even though they were going to be gruesome. Ashley was chained to a metal post. An industrial whirring spun in my skull as a set of arms began to wind up. Oh, God. Clinch at the moment- At clinch at the end of each arm was a horseshoe. Ashley was bound in the direct path across the mass of grinding machine. Oh no! 40 feet away. Oh no! Oh god, oh god, oh god. Ashley's expression was taut. There was only one way out of this game for her, and it was winding up in front of her, just a few paces away. The first. Oh no! This is like a fucking Leon execution! First pitch was thrown. The light clink as the arm released a horseshoe made my heart stop. It missed. With a full, full thud on the dirt behind Ashley. You can do it, girl. You can dodge. The second, third, fourth pitches were thrown wild. Abandoned. As if purposely missing to prolong my... Oh, my God. Why are you so fucked up, Zero? Prolonged my own suffering. The anticipation was miserable. Ashley's gray, sorrowful eyes seemed to meet mine from within the projected screen. I couldn't look any longer. I felt sick. I turned away in agony and heard the distinct sound of a pitch-breaking... No! By the horseshoes. Oh, man. At least it wasn't a horse, like, devouring her or something. I honestly was thinking it was going to be, like, a rabid horse. That zero was going to sick on her. But, man, that was that was rough, too. It remind, remind me a lot, yeah, of, like, a Leon's execution. I feel like the light... I feel the light... I felt the life dream out of my body. There was nothing but pain during her last moments. The pain that destroyed her body. Echo, you really didn't have to watch all that. You really didn't have to. The pain that stung in her heart. Oh! oh, it's so satisfying. Building up all this hope and sheer to eventually strike it down with a decisive kill. Do you like all the times I missed? I was just doing it for fun. See, it's just for you, Echo. Oh! It's a little boring, though. Your participants killing for defensive reasons. We didn't even get a give a motive, which was a bit of a curveball, but interesting that a murder occurred nonetheless. Why can't you guys be more evil, though? Damn it! Well, I suppose I did not. I did put Cyrus on blast for conniving with the preservation project group. He got in the way of the game after all, so I guess it was beneficial for me in the end. You totally set him up for that too by, you know, outing his talent. The whole trial made my head spin. I felt wretched. Poor Echo. I stared at the floor. Not a breath was heard from the others. They seemed just as stunned into silence. In the depth of our devastation, Eve's silvery voice crept in. Oh, fuck off, Siri. I beseech you all to keep your memory of your friends close. You're not doing anything to help us, girl. <laughs> it's it's awful. I don't want to remember this. Don't worry, I took screenshots of the execution. Here you go, Echo Pine. A memento for you, Slay. Ah! Remain strong. As I nursed Ashley back to health, she kept asking aloud. Oh my god, no! <laughs> This is too much, man. I don't like this. I don't like this game no more. As I nursed Ashley back to health, she kept asking aloud, Is Echo okay? Is Echo okay? <laughs> oh my- Why do you have to traumatize me even more, Eve? She cared for you until her last breath. Don't think for a second she didn't put everything on the line for you. But- But why me? I apologize. I cannot say for certain what she was thinking, except- Ashley, without a doubt, cared for you deeply. Man, I'm starting to think Ashley was, like, in love with Echo, honestly. She really, really cares for them. As difficult as it is, cling to what remains of Ashley, her memory. Really? That's all you have this time, Eve? Some empty sentimentalism? Oh, lame! Where are the postcard pictures of the execution? 
you know, Eve claims to be on your side, but look what she's done. Why not le just leave Ashley to die off the Complex 53 poisoning Eve? Oh. Uh, I was like, it's hard for me to know if Eve is actually good or not, honestly. I keep going back and forth on it. Oh, I know why. Because you love reveling in the despair too, girly. You're just as twisted and fucked up as me. She nursed Ashley back to health so I could kill her. Slay, slay, Siri. Ah! Punch. Oh, yeah, we, we can't. I was going to say try to... I was going to say punch him in the face, Echo, but they can't. Ah, God. Ashley returned to us only to be cruelly beaten to death. That moment, that shred of relief. It was so squashed. It was so quickly mutilated into twisted dark feelings. Oh, how pathetic. You'll never end the game like this. You fail once more. Despair will triumph, triumph over hope yet again, Eve. Dot, dot, dot. And it's all your fault. I've done nothing wrong my entire life, Eve. It's your fault. Zero and Eve warped away and the courtroom was engulfed in silent darkness once again. Echo. Missy's voice was a whisper. She laid a gentle hand on my shoulder. Hey, let's get you out of here. Aww. Please help me, Missy. I listlessly followed Missy out of the courtroom. Everyone else filtered out of the courtroom at their own pace as well, dissolving into their own individual lost thoughts for the evening. Damn, dude, that was intense. Without a single- I thought the last trial was intense. This one was like twice as intense. Without a single word, Missy led me down the living quarters, halls to my personal room. Before I entered, a cannon stopped me out of nowhere. Ahem. I realized that it must have been hard for you, Echo. But, um, here. Just see a picture of them together or something. Here, just take this. Cannon handed me a photograph. Oh! Aww. Aww, man. It's a photo of the students gathered in an atrium. Everyone has the photo, except me and Cannon. I took a photo on the first day. It was after the killing game announcement. Aww. It was after the first killing game? Oh, wow. Interesting. Interesting time to take a photo. A smile, we're in the killing game. After the killing game announcement. I recalled the moment in time. I went to my personal room after declining Ash Ashley's invitation to use a spa lounge with Pandora. Art insisted that I work my ma- Art insisted that I work my magic and take a photo of the group since we'd be staying together as friends in the mansion. And you know, we're about to all die soon or something. Oh, they're so cute too. Art and Lyle. Oh, the short kings. Oh, man. Despite that awful announcement, he still wanted to take a neat, pleasant picture. I'm a little embarrassed of it. I don't often photograph groups, but I really look so cute. Oh, they're old names too. Pandora and Say. I hope this helps ease your pain. I no wonder Lyle and uh, Say got so close, because Say and Pandora seemed kind of close. So they both uh, lost somebody close to them that uh, last trial, so it kind of makes sense they might bond more. Why would you show me this? And what do you mean? Echo? Echo's like, I want to be Delulu. Why would you show me this? Who's Ashley? I don't want to see this. This idyllic scene of our friends who aren't with us anymore. The killings are too vivid in my mind for me to believe a simple photograph. I hate this. Uh, I'm sorry. I was just trying to help. Uh, oh my god! Echo! Okay, no, it was Cannon that tore the photo in half. Actually, I thought it was Echo who tore it. Cannon tore the photo in half. Happy. Cannon spat her final remark with a huff before sulking off, her footsteps heavy on the carpet. Missy picked up the pieces of the photograph. That was awfully cold of you, Echo. What do you want me to do? I mumbled. I have nothing to offer the world as an ultimate. I can't do anything. I feel like I lost myself in that trial. I had to detach myself from the people I care about. For what? The truth? I just scoffed. Ugh. After all, it was... <laughs> Look at Echo, dude. They are losing him. They are losing it. After all, it was Missy's fault a gun was introduced to the group. That's so true. Missy masterminded all of this. Ultimate tactician. It was her fault. The gun fell into the wrong hands. Oh, no. Her fault. I lost to Ashley. Shit. Missy sighed softly. Um. 
It was never my intention to get actually executed. Don't fucking lie to me, Missy. Echo's lost it, man. Oh my god, they have really lost it. I shrugged Missy away. I didn't want to listen to her. Uh, uh poor Missy. <laughs> She's just trying to help, you know? I went to my personal room. Oh no, Echo! I sat on the bed. I sat and I cried. Poor Echo. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. Just let it all out. But maybe stop stop being mean to Missy. You know? She didn't kill Ashley. She just I mean, I did think the gun thing was kind of a stupid idea. But you know, she didn't know what would happen, I guess. Art and Ashley, they did horrible things for their friends. When pressed, the two of them only thought to protect the ones important to them. What an interesting concept. It's completely idiotic, though. They disregarded their lives for someone else. Selfless and stupid is what they are. Oh my god, Echo! <laughs> Going on your evil arc now! Self selflessness gets you nothing in return. In a game like this, you have to be so... <laughs> is Echo about to slay? I feel like this is like their montage. They're getting, they're pumping themselves up to slay. You can do this, Echo. <laughs> it's time to slay Missy. <laughs> oh my god, Echo. Thank you, Cherry Bun. Update. Therapy's looking nicer. But <laughs> yeah, you were the one who was like, no, I'm not going to need therapy. I got, I got a new update for you, bestie. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. In a game like this, you have to be selfish and act in self-preservation. Anyways, always look out for number one. Number one, number one, number one, number no 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 ten one one oh one Okay, okay, okay. Are you a robot, Echo? One one zero one one zero What the fuck? What the fuck was that, homie? Okay, 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 whatever. That was that was ominous. I'm starting to wonder, I'm like, are they are they like a robot or something, maybe? I can't I can't tell. I'm not sure if I should go ahead and like stop here and do the alternate ending. Or if um Oh yeah, was that the last one that I saved over? I think so. God, it's kinda hard to tell, honestly. Oh no no, that was the one that I needed to do. Uh that one. Okay, wait, let me let me see where this is <laughs> fucking Pandora. <laughs> They're creepy staring uh, at me. Interesting. Interesting. The binary translates to despair? Really? Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, it might be good to go ahead and do the alternate uh, ending. Maybe. Okay. We can go ahead and do that then. Load game. I'm curious to see what would happen. That was very binary for a non-binary echo. I was thinking that too. I was like, hey, I thought you were non-binary, not binary. Ba bum ching <laughs> Thanks for the dono, Jeff. Okay, let's go ahead and load. Yeah. I'm like, just making sure I'm like, I pr press low. <laughs> Fuck Missy. I kind of feel like this is honestly like a happier ending for Echo though at this point. Um, as of now, we have, we have had nothing tangible to gain from trusting her. Trust is only a concept that has to be tested over time. And to be frank, not enough time has passed to show Missy has trustworthy intentions. She planted the gun to frame someone to killing. She's just perpetuating this killing game cycle. We're getting nowhere like this. If Missy still won't share her alibi, the only thing she is providing is a reason to believe she's the culprit. Exactly! Oh wait, ah, I accidentally skipped the rest of his line. By her feigned to do so, she's just asking for us to dart around the subject of her disappearance. There can only be one answer for the crime at hand. It all boils down to Missy's gun. Then we're in agreement. I kind of forgot that Lyle was going on on this tangent before, too. Then we're in agreement. There's no proof of anyone else's involvement. And since Missy refuses to deny our claims, we have our answer. No, you're making a mistake. Smash that button, Monokuma. Let's go, baby. What do you want, Missy? You're not giving us any options, yet you continue to deny your involvement. If you refuse to contribute to the case at hand, then this is the only conclusion. Kind of forgot how uh, hardcore Lyle was into this before. Oh my god, I wonder if we got it right. I hope so. The vote was unanimous. Oh my god, this time it's unanimous. Last time it wasn't. It wasn't even up for debate at this point. Missy Vepper is the Vesper is the culprit. And Nod. Oh, the vote is so close. A Nod. Missy Vesper, you messed up big time, girlie. 
Why did you just say your alibi, you dumbass? And even now, you know, you won't say anything to dispute the majority vote. Even if you knew someone in your heart that it was wrong. I knew- I know it's wrong. I never killed Cyrus. Then uh, where were you when he died? I know where you were, but why don't you tell the others yourself? I can't. I mean, I guess she thinks that, like, if we don't trust her, then, like, there's no point in playing the game in the first place? I was like, is that maybe, like, her, um, her end goal with that? I'm not totally sure. Or Echo, do you think this is right? Uh, Missy's suspicion overshadowed. Eh, that! My Delulu! Why, why wouldn't it be? Oh, um, I don't know. You're just ignoring that evidence on Ashley's hand? All right, then I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask to have to respect the rules of the vote and put you through the ringer. That ringer being punishment time. I want to see Ashley's, um, you know, uh, reaction to this. Eh, the, the what now? Ah! I was like, okay. oh shit! Oh fuck! Oh my god, we all got executions? A trap door beneath Missy threw the ground out, instantly swallowing her into a descending void. Wait, what the fuck are they... What? Is he executing her? But she didn't even do it! Once again, her whereabouts were... Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess it was just Ashley that gets away, actually. So I guess he's just gonna go one at a time, maybe. Okay, let's give it... That's kind of worse, actually, going, like, one at a time. You know what I mean? Once again, her whereabouts were isolated from ours. She had fallen into a small, claustrophobic chamber, square into what looked like a restraining chair. Her arms were raised, suspended in air by thin wire. A small table unfolded on her lap. A single sheet of paper and a thin pen were provided. Missy tried to stay still to avoid fighting what was to come. Her passivity was futile. The wires jerked her arms around. Ah! Cutting through her skin as the friction pup- Oh god! Oh god! This is bad. This is a bad one. Pu puppeteered her actions crudely. Help. 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 The wires dragged Missy's arms through the manic motion of writing a plea for help. <laughs> oh my god! It was useless. The single sheet fluttered to the ground. The floor was the canvas. Her splattered, splattering, ah, her splattering blood, the ink. Gee, why is her so much worse than the others so far? Help wouldn't be coming instead. The sides of the small chamber walls began to close in on Missy as her arms frantically tie, tried to fight against the wire control. It took all her remaining strength to reach past the slim, constricting walls. Woo! Damn! Oh, it's too slow! Execution by volatility, uncertainty, complexity, and... Um, God, I feel like hers was so much worse than Ashley's or Art's. Is he just fucking with us? He's like, oh, I'm gonna execute Missy. Uh, no, I'm gonna execute you guys too! Lama oh. After witnessing the brutality of her demise, I felt stone cold. I could feel the color drain from my face, but my consciousness... My consciousness was still in hollow. Uh, <laughs> actually, um, what's going on, guys? Um, Missy was executed. Oh, this is, this is not good. Ashley! Oh my god, my bestie who's done nothing wrong. Ashley finally emerged from the infirmary, but her tall frame folded in under the fragility her pain caused. Ah, uh, bingo! Congratulations, you got what you wanted, right, Echo? Everyone's eyes burn through. Y'all all gonna blame me, okay? Lyle was also on his Delulu shit as well, okay? <sighs> no, no, this is... Good? <laughs> what? What is wrong with you, Echo? What is wrong with you this stream? This is good. What the fuck are you talking about, Echo? The others stood by. Pin drop silence. Their eyes laying severe judgment upon my shoulders. I guess they know that they protected Ashley, so that's why they're okay with it. Majority votes will steal the individual's fate and determine determine and vote incorrectly. The entire class is executed with the culprit alone, able to walk three free and win the ultimate prize. That's the ideal end game for the culprit. Even after all that, you still don't get it. Vote incorrectly. Echo. Ah! As you should! Oh my god! Well, Lyle, you were being Delulu too! Come on! Come on! If it wasn't for Echo and the other ending, you would have fucked up too! A fist collide with my jaws, Lyle threw me to the floor. I guess in this one, it's kind of implying that Echo's like... This was like all a part of their master plan a little bit, like, to save Ashley. 
No one stopped him. I guess I feel like it's kind of more of like a subconscious thing, you know? Like they know that there's something suspicious, but they just choose to ignore it to get the ending that they subconsciously know they want and, you know, yeah. I lay on the floor, unmoving, staring blankly at the silhouettes that made up of the other students. The taste of metal soaked the back of my throat. Incorrect, but... But Ashley would never... Listen to you! You insist Ashley couldn't be the culprit? You, oh my... He said the word, you're Delulu! Zero, so, oh my god, why isn't it called Danganronpa Delulu instead of Danganronpa Laps? I feel like that really encapsulates Echo's personality even more. Zero spelled it out plain and simple, and now the rest of us are going to get killed! Oh, maybe I'll spare Echo the execution and let Lyle do the work for me! I'll slay Lyle! Lyle sprang up and stormed off. I could hear his fist pound the wall of the courtroom. No, we'll get out of this well. Oh, fuck! Lyle's outburst fell silent. And the collapse of his body filled the rest of his sentence. I could hear the others gasp, overlay attempts of darting to escape, scuff the floor. I. Huh. I thought back to when I first saw Ashley's unconscious body in the casino. Ashley descended upon me, her face dark with contention and weakness. Her hand. Yeah, I saw something in her hand. Talking Rampa de Lulu. That'll be my fan game. Echo. Echo, you knew. It was like she read my mind. Uh, shall we? <laughs> Echo, like, wait, wait, Lyle. Before you beat me up some more. Shall we? Echo's so cute, too. I'd be like, I forgive you. I forgive you. Yeah, of course I knew. I coughed. I just don't understand why. Why? She was shocked. I can't tell you why. Unfortunately, it's pointless now. Oh, no! They're both trying to save each other. They're so in love. Ashley rose and shuffled off. My eyes widened. I gasped. Tried to pull myself up and chase after her, but my head began to sting. Ah, oh, the... The complex 53. Okay, so I guess Missy gets the execution, but maybe all of us just get the complex. Ugh! Yep. Ah. I was kind of hoping we get to go through an execution for uh, Echo, because that would have been pretty cool, too. My vision grew red and bleary. A oh, high-pitched ring shook my head. God, that ringing was rough. Pointless? I felt my head was splitting in two. Ashley's alive, so it wasn't pointless. You guys just love each other too much. It wasn't pointless, right? Uh, uh, oh, Echo! Bad end, damn, yeah. It seems like I guess they all got the Complex 53 then, rather than like a full-blown execution. Ashley Westridge won the ultimate prize. Can we know what it is? I want to know what it is. It's just like a Snickers bar or something. <laughs> it's like, oh my god, Ashley, aren't you excited? Wasn't it all worth it? She's like, fuck you, Zero. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> oh man, that was so good. That was a really good chapter. Gosh. I I feel like that was a huge step up from the last chapter. I mean, I enjoyed the last uh, chapter in Trial too, but gosh, I feel like this one was so much more like uh, epic and dramatic. There was just so much going on. Even though I did suspect Ashley from the beginning, to see it all play out was just... Brutal, so brutal to see Echo go through that. Like, ah, uh, so sad. I felt so bad for them, you know. But uh, yeah, this is great. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. I think we're gonna end it for now. But um, I uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying this game so far. I hope you guys are too. I'm happy that uh, everybody seemed to enjoy Corpse Factory yesterday too. For those of you who haven't seen that, it was pretty uh, fun. It's very mature though. Just keep that in mind if you're younger. It's a very, very mature game. Lots of, lots of mature themes in it so far. Missy didn't deserve- I know. You want a $10 gift card to Walmart? Oh my god. This death game is sponsored by Walmart! <laughs> Fucking zero. I could see him doing that honestly. Oh my gosh. But thanks guys for stopping by. I should have my Wheel of Fate for Super Dog and Rump another two out this week. Probably on like Wednesday or something. Maybe Thursday if I'm a little too slow on editing, but probably Wednesday. But yeah, thanks guys for stopping by. I will see you next Saturday when we finish or we continue Corpse Factory. And then again on Sunday for this game too. But yeah, thanks guys for coming. I appreciate ya. Bye!